Sorry. I was muted. I didn't realize that. What's up? Um, not wearing my headset all week and then putting it on is always such a weird feeling. Because if I'm going to use my computer during the week, then I just, uh, what you call it? I just uh, use my speaker chip. Started filming a new YouTube video today and then realized that my coloring is off and I don't want to, my lighting temperature and stuff. Not because I'm not filming it right here anymore. I'll explain later. Um, but yeah, I need to fix it. Wait, what the fuck happened? Playing a VOD. Did my stream die? Oh, I might have clicked something. That's weird. Stream dead? We still live. We should definitely be live, but I'm kind of thinking we're not. No, now we are. That is super weird. What the fuck happened? Yeah, still live and kicking. That was weird. I don't know. It does seem dark. Does it seem dark or is it bright enough? I don't want to go above 640. I think it's bright enough. I could go, I could go to 800 ISO. I just, I don't know. Might later. A little dark, but I would say comfortable. Yeah, I mean, in game, when it's just my face, like in the corner, it won't be as bad. Um, what you should notice is how smooth I am. Look at that. Look at when I move. You may not have noticed the difference before, but it seems like I'm moving fast. Um, that is 60 hertz. I am now moving at 60 frames per second because um, I think I mentioned it last week that I was buying a new camera. Yeah, new moisturizer, that's it. No, it's a new camera. That is a Sony, it's not new actually, it's used, but it's a, and it's six years old, but it's a better camera than I was using before. That is a Sony A6000. Um, they made those in 2014 and they made them so good at that time that it still rivals new DSL, well, it's not a DSLR, it's a mirrorless. So um, it's better than a DSLR camera. So it's crazy smooth. Plus, the detail is uh, significantly better. I think I think the color temperature I still might have to play with a little bit. And then I have the ISO set to 640 because I'm trying to darken it a little bit. I could kick the lights up because you, as you go higher in ISO, you introduce noise into the picture. Uh, it goes up to like 32,000. That's what the other camera did too. And I, I, the the lens that I currently have on, it's a kit lens. It's aperture is minimum of 3.5. Aperture is, think about your eye, right? Aperture is, oh yeah, but watch this. This is the other thing that it does that the other one didn't do. Autofocus. Now you can see my hand. And then look, back to my face. Um, because the other one I had to have in manual focus because of I don't remember what the reason was, but you had to have it. Uh, and this one, I don't. And it stays on all the time, and I don't have a rubber band on it or anything. Just all in all, a better experience. Anyway, ISO. The aperture is 3.5 minimum, which is the, the amount of light that gets let in. So the smaller the number, the bigger the hole that lets the light in. It was down to like, there's lenses that exist that have like a 1.4 or a 1.2 f-stop on them aperture, which is crazy. That's a ton of light, um, which is great. Um, but those typically don't have, um, those are what they call Sigma 
or prime lenses. Um, Sigma's a brand. Uh, prime lenses don't zoom, which I don't need it to fucking zoom, but that's the difference. Also, one of those lenses is like 600 bucks. Fucking camera only cost me 400. Probably gonna sell my other camera. Still haven't told y'all what game I'm playing tonight either. Probably still gonna play Hunt and Yu-Gi-Oh after. But for at least an hour, we're playing um, a game I haven't played on stream before. And I've only put a very small amount of time into, but the amount of time that I put let me hear the music from it, and it was so good that I bought the album. That's how good the music was. Rubnautica? No. I haven't played this game on stream before. I assume you meant Subnautica. Oh yeah, check this out. Look what Goldfish put out. Jalapeno popper flavored. No, I said what I said. That was Rubnautica, different different game um yeah limited edition jalapeno popper flavored so i uh i i went really hard at the gym earlier so i could eat these and i'll be snacking on them the whole evening and i'm excited because i haven't eaten hardly anything else today I haven't tasted them before just now. Hmm. Not playing Among Us. Um. There's no music in Among Us, is there? I'm trying to decide if they taste like jalapeno popper. They don't. They're good, though. I'm definitely getting some cheese and then, like, just a rolling heat underneath it. Yeah, it literally says pop and flavor and a bit of heat. Yo, know, autofocus is so good. I I did not know what I was missing. And it's so quick. You saw how fast that was? Nuts. The the Sony uh, E series lenses are um, very notorious for being super fast autofocus. And I have the drive turned way up. It is doing this weird like fluctuation thing as I move and stuff sometimes. I'm noticing it in the corner of the screen where it's like it's doing a little the warpy thing where it's trying to focus. I might toy with that later because it has tracking autofocus where I can like tell it to specifically pick my face and then track. But then the problem is when I want to show you something, I don't know. I'll fuck with it later. Like I said, I'll probably mess with the color temperature eventually too. I have it set to like a preset like I did the other one. So this is a natural skin tone for me. You know how pale I am. But, um, I don't know how good it looks. We'll see. Yeah, in the very near future, my YouTube videos will be significantly different than they have been. Ha! <laughs> Daddy's here. What's up, Juice? How you doing, man? Alright. Um, let me... Some weird-ass... Let's jump to this. Ooh. Funky. This is one of his new albums, Groove. Doing good. I'm doing good. 
I mean, jalapeno popper goldfish. I'm doing real good. Although, my stomach's a little fucked up today. Not related to the goldfish. I literally just opened them and never caught them before right now. I think I might ate some shady chicken the other day. Blade, I don't know if you've heard of this game. A lot of people probably haven't. It's not new. Uh, it is quite old, actually. But it is amazing. And the music is so good that um, it's, it's what really, like, makes it better like the game itself is actually pretty cool from what i played of it but and it is a single player rpg uh but the music really like puts it up there yeah see with the zoom that i don't use but like watch this See, it closes the aperture when you zoom, so that's why it got darker. And then as you zoom out, it brightens it up. When I eventually get like a like a 1.6 f-stop lens or whatever, it'll be significantly brighter without turning up the eye, so I can turn it up. Like an old school JRPG, like the early 2000s, 2006. it came out all right let's just get into it because you're obviously eager to see it and i'm eager to show you and i don't even know if it shows up on twitch but we're gonna find out and it's gonna be awesome oh my god this music is it's in my head already because i was listening to it earlier and i'm so excited i if anything just stay for the music and you'll enjoy it i promise you uh, let's go here and let's change my stream info to the name of the game. Oh, it's in there. Sweet. Oh, it's going to be so good. Boom. Stream info updated successfully. The name of the game. I do not know where to put my camera for this. We'll figure it out. The name of the game is Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery EP. And it is going to be sick. We're probably going to go like top right. Maybe We'll find out in a second. It might be really loud too. So just stand by for that. Forty three percent. Oh, we're starting over. Nope, don't do that. Uh how do you I don't know how I got I didn't get forty three percent. Hey. How's it going? Wanna jam? Good. Let's rock. Okay, yeah, it's a little loud. I'll pull it back. I gotta figure out how to delete my... my save so we can start over. That's interesting. I know you could do that. Alright. How do we delete? Just clear data. Yeah. Let's go. 1920 by 1080, full screen, all right. Okay. Mm. 
We'll see how loud it's going to be. And let's get into it. I, oh, this. That's how you start. Just watch and listen. I think I have to click. Ladies and gentlemen, how about you tap these two little Sylvan sprites so I can get a feel for your stereo sound system. I am probably going to crank it up. Our research indicates that social support will play a positive role in the outcome. Yeah, this game is old. We're not tweeting about it. The ability to broadcast your findings in an entirely optional component it is intended to be used in moderation. We are profoundly grateful that you have chosen to participate in this experimental treatment for acute soul sickness. Find the first Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery EP session to be fairly straightforward. It typically requires 15 to 30 minutes to complete. Ready to begin? Let's play and let's go. Press play and let's go. Uh, so that's not the whole game. They're talking about like the first part. It's separated into parts. <laughs> I got it cranked a little bit. But the music is so good. Listen. Tip tap. Oh, you double click to walk, okay. an immovable iron gate blocking a cavernous cave. Far from the war-ravaged steps of Scythia, we met a dark-haired girl in a sunlit meadow. To the mountain folk of the Caucasus, Caucasus. She was known as Girl, and she seemed nice. Can I go this way? Oh, I can. I didn't realize it was zoomed in. Okay, there you go. So it's pixelated on purpose, obviously. Tap and swipe to look around. Hit that. Let's talk to this guy. Wood chopping woodsman chopped wood. Of course he did. To the mountain folk of the Caucasus, 
He was known as the Log Fella, and he seemed cool. Log Fella knew all about our woeful errand, and he agreed to lead us up the old road. Still, we definitely got the feeling that he wasn't super jazzed about this. <laughs> Okay. We're gonna follow a log fella, I guess. Just wait, the music plays a big part. I kind of remember some of this. Cause I, I did this like first little section before, but it's been a long time. Tip tap. Oh, he's got the key. Hey. Okay. What's that say? Scythia. Chimeria, Assyria, and Persia. These are all kingdoms of men. Mingita is the kingdom of the cloud. All right, then. Hey. This is what I'm talking about. had seen some kind of creepy monster thing and he figured he'd just let us handle it. <laughs> okay. Alright, so this, there's battles and shit. This is what I remember. This is like a basic thing. Where it's like... By the side of the old road, there was a stone carved with a pair of glyphs in the shape of a sword and a shield. Oh, I already clicked that. My bad. What's up, wolf? I'm gonna fuck you up. Fight? Uh, yeah. I. What do you do? Oh, right click. Okay. I'm sure if I hit him. I mean, he ran away, so maybe. But his little stars didn't go down. I assume that's what his life was. I don't know. It's been a long time. What's up? What's up? Mm -mm.
That's a lot of forest. Oh shit, what's that? I feel like all I did was that wolf thing. I don't remember this. Oh. It's a big, looks like a giant head with a mouth. It is. Okay. You just, dog fellas just chilling. He said, fuck it. What's up, dude? The woodsman, known as Logfella, had chosen to chill out beneath a stone shelter near the perilous precipice. Logfella seemed to know all about the loathsome rainbow and the nearby glyph depicting the skyward sword. And yet Logfella here offered zero help about what to do next, which kind of rubbed us the wrong way if we're totally being honest. Yeah, I remember... <laughs> I remember the writing was good, too. He said, I didn't go that. I guess I did do that part because I do remember the writing being good. Alright, well, what the fuck is this? At the edge of the perilous precipice stood a stone carved with the glyph of a skyward sword beneath the colors of a rainbow. The Scythians loathe rainbows. Yeah, fuck rainbows. <laughs> Just kidding. I have right click. Okay. Oh. Oh, I gotta stand in the rainbow. That makes a lot of sense. I'll bet you I'll right click and it does it. Watch this. Boom. Oh, I gotta hold it down. My bad. Wait, is that it? No. Okay. How dope this game is. Oh, what's up, log fella? He just like got all happy and shit. We had bridges the chasm and we felt super smart because we are super smart. We told log fella that we sought a burdensome book of sinister sorcery known as the Megatome. I guess that's the Megatome. The Megatome lurks somewhere in the haunted darkness beyond the perilous precipice beneath Mingita. I guess that's Mingita. We resolved to go get the Megatone and then get out alive. All right. Okay. Is he not? He's not coming. Nope. Uh, Logfella's like, nah, bruh. Okay. I guess I'll do it myself then. What's up there? Oh. There's more mountain. Guess we're going in there. Seems super safe. Tap and hold the move. Oh, okay, yeah, that's way better than double clicking. There's no way I don't have to fight something in here. Oh. Okay. It's probably fine. Trespass. What's that thing? Astride a rickety bridge stood a grim pole creepily adorned with an antlered skull. My mic seems like angled. I bumped into it earlier and I think I fucked it up. <clears throat> that should be fun. All right. Uh, okay. I think this is a chick, by the way. I'm pretty sure I'm a chick. It's very hard to tell with the pixels, but like the hair. Also be clicker. Yeah, it's definitely a girl. Okay, I guess we're going in there. That looks like some Zelda shit. Oh, good. Oh, we can click and hold again. Nope. Oh, what the fuck is that? 
What's up, warrior guy? In a subterranean corridor, we spied an ominous statue, but we didn't worry too much about it. Mm, okay. It's probably gonna say thing. Yeah, okay. I thought it was like an inscription maybe, but I guess not. Can I tap an old to move outside too? And I've just not been doing it the whole time? I can, that's way better. Uh, which door? Ooh. Ooh, there's three. Okay. Left, middle, right. Y'all pick, I have no idea. I guess we'll just go left or right if nobody's got any opinion. Let's go left. Can I? Oh, you got a double tap. You got a double tap to go indoors, but you can. Okay. It's locked and shit. That move. What's that? What's going on up here? Deep within the mountain temple above a tall passageway, we spied three strange triangular shapes. Left is the beft. Well, left is locked. So I guess we're going. I'm gonna try right, but I'm feeling. Oh no, I just came out the right. All right, so I guess it's fucking middle. I came in this door. Middle it is. Yep. All right. This is some shit. See, what's cool about the music in this game is like it makes it so like immersive, but then when it stops, it's kind of horrifying. Now it's like super quiet, which is not okay. I guess up here. Whoa. Fuck's going on with that dude? Is that a dude? We spied an antlered skull floating in the darkness beneath Mingi Ta. Totally safe to go up there. Let's do that. It's probably nothing at all to worry about. Can't imagine that this will go poorly. Uh, all right. Can I? We're just chilling. <sighs> What am I doing? I pulled on it. We found the Megatone. Oh, that's the Megatone in his hands. We found the Megatone clasped in two bone hands and we felt our sword stir in its sheath. I don't know how to process that. Okay, so are we, are we swording it? Yeah. Nice. Okay, so we chopped it out of there. Can I pick it up? That thing's definitely mad. Oh. I feel like we should leave. Yeah, let's leave. Uh oh. Oh no. Alright, so we're gonna leave quickly. Fuck. I don't remember. I was down, right? I'm pretty sure it was down. And then this door. Can we? Can we fucking move? Please. That dude's definitely coming. What's going on with this guy again? Nothing. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's coming. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh no. That was really fast. All right, we're fighting. What I clicked. Okay. Oh, I heard him. He's gonna hit me twice. That's like obvious. Okay. We got bud. One. He's gonna hit me once. Oh, you're dead. Fuck you, guy. Okay. Now it's GTFO. I'm super surprised that thing is not following me right now. Hey, there's Logfella. Morning. Morning. Hey. I like the voice acting. It's just like one word. Oh shit. We had retrieved the Megatome, and Logfellow was 100% ready to move it, move it to the safety of his lodgings. <laughs> All right. We sensed a gathering thunderstorm, and yet a little song began in our heart. Okay, I guess that's the song in my heart. I'm into it. There's that wolf again. Lock that back up. Yep. Got that wolf again with like three eyes. I think he was like looking, but it might have been like a fuck you guy. Click and hold, and I keep like dragging by accident, and it moves the screen. That was weird. Just abruptly ended that music. Oh man, look at the reflection. That's cool. I didn't realize that before. You talking to Logfellow? What's up? Hey.
In the light of the gathering storm, Logfella admitted he had a serious case of the heebie-jeebies right about now. Was Logfella intentionally freaking us out? See, if I wrote a game, I swear, I would, like, this is good. In any case, it was probably totally safe to just take shelter for a bit. Uh, what, in his house? Can I go in there? All right. Oh, shit. All right, we're chilling. Cool. Got the Megatome, and we are the smartest. It was like the title. That was cool. Hey, that was like the tutorial. Okay. So, all right, we. It's like narrator guy. So you've awoken the deathless specter who slumbered in the darkness beneath Mingy Ta. Yikes. Consequently, a sinister thunderstorm looms, and the lovely people who live in the stone hut are a little heartbroken. The upshot is they got the burdensome book known as the Megatome. In our next session, we'll discuss its strange purpose. Our research shows that prolonged exposure to the mythopoetic psycho... psychocosmology of sword, Super Brother Sword and Sorcery EP can have adverse side effects. Yeah. Are you telling me to take a break? So now that you've completed session one, how about we take a little break? I'll be right here when you're ready for session two. So that's what I meant. I, that's what they meant by like breaking it up into like little pieces. No, we're definitely playing session two, but that's cool as fuck. Yeah, that was 17%. So it's not that long a game. I what my previous save was apparently like 40 or something, which I don't remember at all. Apparently I did this. Maybe somebody else did it. What's up with this chair? So you have to click him every time to like start it. It's lovely to see you again. Are you ready to begin session two of Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery EP? Mm hmm. So, okay, so where were we? Oh, right. Now I remember you got a burdensome book known as the Megatome. You woke the deathless specter who still lurks in the darkness beneath Mingy Ta. What a creep. Am I right? Uh, Heim of Woe. A sinister thunderstorm has clouded the skies and the lovely people who live in the hut are miserable. Silencing the storm will require some familiarity with psionics, psionics, cryptozoology, and miracles. A sorcerer's t one. A sorcerer's touch will unseal the megatome, revealing the unspoken thoughts of living creatures and other esoteric material. Two. Strange sylvan sprites, sources of sorcery, 
slumber in ponds, woods, and meadows. Seek their subtle, sonorous booms. That's a lot of alliteration. Okay. Three, a sorcerer who can locate, summon, and tame the cosmic geometry of the golden trigon will possess the ability to work miracles. Confused? Excellent. Keep calm and carry on. Cool, so like no direction. All right. Well, that's like the log, the log fella's house. No, it's not. This is the gate. This house is over here. Oh, this song's dope too. back over here where like it started me with like the sheep and all that shit it was that door there I guess it's still locked though maybe they'll tell me something now can I use the book to open the door what the fuck was that what's up sheep Spied a thingamajib above the iron gate. Well, that was helpful. Yeah. I can just do that whenever I want. That's dope. Oh, what's that? There was something. You see that? There's a thing. What is that? Um, what just happened? Was that a fucking shroom? Um, tripping balls, I guess. That definitely what just happened. Not sure what to do with that. Can I go this way? Nope. Nothing over there. So my shroom trip wore off. Yes, I can't go in the door yet. I feel like it's gonna make me go back in the fucking cave. Not super hyped about that. But now I gotta like pay attention to stuff on the ground. I saw that little thing glowing and I clicked it and it was a... What's that? There's a thing. What's that thing? Do something about that? What's up with these people? 
me some direction. Bruh. The dark haired girl known as Girl was feeling the woe. Ever since the storm began, the girl had seen the sonorous booms of Sylvan sprites who slumbered in the woods nearby. I'm, I don't know how I was able to say that. She wondered if maybe the three Sylvan sprites could help lift the storm. She asked us to investigate the sonorous boom bubbling up out of the deep water pond outside the hut. What's up, Shib? I'm doing good, man. I am, uh, I'm playing a game with some of the dopest music I've heard in a long time. Uh, I actually bought this album before I'd even, like, played the game. Because, I, well, I played it, like, for a minute. And I heard enough of the music to know that I wanted it, and I did. And I've had it forever, and I've never played it. Uh, the girls, well, not very far, anyway. The girls spoke of a sprite in a meadow nearby, and yet another sprite in a nest box that was home to three rain-soaked songbirds. The girl told us to seek the sonorous booms of these three sylvan sprites and send them skyward with the song of sorcery. A lot of alliteration. Okay. What's Logfella got to say? The woodsman known as Logfella had given up on his wood chopping due to the sinister storm. Logfella reminded us of how the storm rolled in pretty much right after we had retrieved the megatome from beneath Mingita. Was Logfella not so subtly suggesting that maybe we ought to try to do something to lift the storm? I feel like Logfella might be an ass. Whoa. Breaking the fourth wall, narrator. What the fuck are you doing out here? It is time to learn the Song of Sorcery, a conscious expansion technique that reveals a mystical musical dimension. Keep calm and follow my directions to summon the Sylvan Sprite that softly slumbers in the cool waters of the deep water pond. Tap and hold. Got it. really trippy. We sang a song of sorcery and summoned a slumbering sylvan sprite from the cool waters. Excuse me, of a deep water pond. So strange. Yep. Very. Okay. Is there more? I don't see any more. Let's go this way. Let's look for some more. <laughs> oh, there's that guy again. Very nicely done. You've learned the song of sorcery, and now the unfathomable power of the Megatome is yours. Megatome intercepts lingu linguistic thought transmissions, and it contains everything you'll need to complete your woeful errand. I'm thinking about something right this moment. Why not open the Megatome and look for me to find out what's on my mind? Look for a white triangle in the top right. Tap it, then equip the Megatome to reveal what is hidden. That's going to be right by my camera, but there's a triangle up there. Just trust me. Okay. Bright moon in eight days. Uh, okay. The archetype. As you can see, the Megatome gathers and collects linguistic thought transmission. Scroll down to see what I was thinking before. Oh, uh, so it's all the shit that you said before. Stop the song. Simply double click the sorcery or uh, the song sorcery can be understood. Okay. Third aspect of setting is 
The cultural prevailing notions of reality and normalcy. We will avoid this discussion for now. What the fuck? All right, that was weird. The site the end. So what is? So this is the megatome. It's absorbing like. Oh, so this is me. Am I reading my thoughts as I'm thinking them? Hmm. Are my thoughts arranged chronologically in the order I thought them? So this must be what I was thinking a few seconds ago. Wait, why am I referring to myself in first person? I thought our story was told in second person. With a ceaseless storm overhead, we have learned to sing a song of sorcery and summon a slumbering Sylvan Sprite. We just woke a Sylvan Sprite from a deep water pond fringed with lilies by the stone. <coughs> Beside a stone hut, we are not sure what that means. Okay. That log fella's not thinking shit. Neither is girl or dog fella. Oh, dog fella. That's his name. Of course. Alright, so now we can read the book. And we can do this summony shit. Oh, there's a thing. So we gotta sing the song. Yeah, that was in the water before. So we do this. I tap and hold on myself. Like this. And then we look for these little fucking guys. Is this one of them? I don't think that's them. cough button and then I always forget to press it. That's why I keep looking back. Uh, okay. Let's try right here. I don't think there's any here. It does glow when I click it though. But it won't let me like direct it. Just is, is he gone? Is there a third one or something? I don't know what to do. Oh, I can side scroll. Oh. That's cool. We just woke a slumbering silver and sprite from a curious nest box surrounded by three rain so songbirds. Oh, that's right, they did say that. They literally just told me that and I already forgot. Is that another person? What the fuck was that? I so, said, can I open this? Nope. Locked over in the stone wall blocks the old road to Miggy Town. Apparently, the key's lost in dreams. Uh, pretty sure Logfella has it. Because he unlocked that shit before I was there. But I'm going to follow this person that went over here.
Did they go inside? What is that? Can I just sit? We chill. She told me some shit earlier. Dark hair girl known as the... The dark hair girl known as girl was feeling the woe. Ever since the storm. Yeah, I saw that. Slumbered in the woods nearby. She asked us to investigate the sonorous spoon bubbling up out of the deep water pond outside the hut. Did I do that one already? Meadow nearby. And yet another in a nest box. So there's a meadow, the pond, and the, the nest box with the birds. I did the nest box with the birds. I think we did the pond out here because that's where the guy was. So the meadow's got to be the last one. That's like where the sheep were. It has to be what they're talking about. Yeah, because now it's making sounds and shit. Oh, and there's a thing. Yep, so it's definitely this. Okay, so we gotta sing the song of whatever. The song of sorcery. Let's go. Wait. Womp. Alright, now what? There's no things. Tip tap? On what? The sheep? Oh. Is it a pattern? All right, so it's one, two, three. Nope. So that, 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 and this one? Nope. That, I suck at this. Let's go here. Nope. Oh my god. Holy shit. I'm gonna get it like last every time. Alright. No. Wait, what? Did I fuck it up? Oh, there's another guy here that I didn't even see. One, two, three, four, five. No. Fuck, man. Three, four, five. Let's go in. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five. This guy. It's there. Ah, we got it. That's all of them. We just woke a slumbering sylvan sprite from the rich earth of a meadow containing four pairs of worthless sheep. <laughs> Why are they worthless? Uh, okay. It's telling me to click on the triangle, so I did. Oh, now people are thinking stuff. I've seen the Scythians sing a sword of sorcery and send three sylvan sprites skyward. I wonder if they will help soothe the storm. Well, Logfell's freaking out about something. I'll just head outside and leave him for a bit. Kind of wish I knew about my backstory. I bet it would make sense of everything. And nothing. Okay. Bark, 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 bark. That's, that's what Dogfell is thinking. Talk bell is deep. What's that bright moon in eight days? Now what? I already ate that mushroom and I feel like I fucked it up because I ate it. I feel like I probably shouldn't have done that. But it was there, so I just picked it up. And I didn't know touching it would like eat it. I thought it was gonna tell me what it was. It looked like a mushroom. I'm guessing.
I knew this was Super Mario Bros. Yeah. Did you see Doc play uh, Hunt this week? Oh, we're eating shrooms. Yeah, it was pretty great. It was. He was struggling at first, and then he picked it up. Because his flick shots are good from Call of Duty and everything else, so he was he was doing all right. That's really good for the game with that kind of attention. That's always there's gonna be a lot of people playing probably. I want to play. Probably soon. I might finish this section of this game or whatever. Hector, the game dev, came to help, and he don't know. Is that was a game dev that was talking to him? Because I saw like a clip where somebody was talking to him. And then yeah, <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, no, I saw him talking to somebody, and then I know, like, dude's, like, mid-sentence, and he just walked up and shot him in the face, and then walked away, and the people were like, gotta ask that guy, and he was like, that guy's dead. I don't know. <laughs> that was funny. What's up with this chick? The girl stood sheltered from the rain beneath the broad wooden roof of the well. She had left the comfort of the hearth in the hut, because apparently Logfellow was freaking out about something or other. Oh, yeah, well, we saw that when she was thinking... Alright, I guess we're going in there. What's Log Fella freaking out about? Can we sit down? Yeah, let's sit. Did I sleep? I'm sleeping. Okay. What's that do? Is that like a save? That's gotta be what that is. Side A. Whoa, what? Side B. Dream. I'm in a dream? Okay. That's interesting. What the fuck is that guy? Let's do him. <laughs> also, his nipples are sticking out, which is weird. He's like a bear. Like a bear man. Okay, can I, can we talk to him? Oh, he ran away. Oh my god, he just like jumped. Observe what? I can't observe anything. He ran away. Alright, I'm gonna follow him. Bunnies ran away. <clears throat> you guys hear him? He's into it. Yeah, and he's running again. I don't know why I didn't think that was gonna happen. Oh wait, is that a mushroom? That's a mushroom. Wait. I want that. Fuck yeah, let's go. Got another mushroom. I'm not gonna waste it this time. I don't know that I wasted it before, but I feel like I did. There's another one too. He's fucking jamming. And he hauled us that way, so we're gonna follow him. After I get this mushroom. Fuck yeah, now I got two mushrooms. Uh, what? What's that? What'd I get? Is that a whistle? What? I don't know what's happening right now. Whoa, what? Oh, there's a chair. Was the chair there before? And I fell asleep. Oh, is it taking me back to the A side? 
Okay. This is Super Mario. <laughs> Blade Edge. I got whistles to take me to a different world. Oh, cool. Fuck, man. I dropped a goldfish and I have no idea what I want. What's that? The woodsman was super relieved that we had managed to retrieve his lost key from the Twilight Realm of Dreams. Oh, is that the key to the door? The woodsman knows Logfella. Wondered how we got so smart, and he asked about our woeful errand. We told the woodsman uh, how we had come of age on the steps alongside our fearless Scythian sisters and brothers. We told Logfellow why we wandered, wandered here in this mountain wilderness and how we were guided by the finger of an all-knowing god. We told Logfellow about what we suspected the esoteric markings inside the Megatome might signify. We had a hunch that we needed to summon a few more Sylvan Sprites to soothe the storm. In a hushed whisper, we spoke of our intention to locate and tame a manifestation of cosmic geometry known as the Gold Trigon. It was 100% clear that the woodsman known as Logfella had stopped paying attention. We figured we could just hang on to the key and go for a walk on the old world beside the stone wall. Uh, so we're just stealing the key and opening the doors. What's happening? Okay. I guess that's what's happening. So, into the fucking cave we're going, I guess. Super good idea, probably. Was he gonna play that music again? Put some dope music when we went through the door before. Oh wait, what's girl doing? Oh wait, oh what are you what? Oh. She's just standing there. We met the dark haired girl standing rain soaked on a side path. She had heard the subtle, sonorous spooms of the Sylvan Sprites from beyond the stone wall on the old road to Mingy's Hall. She spoke of towering tree trunks on either side of a mighty river. She spoke of faint rainbows at the edge of a perilous precipice. And then she grew fearful and told us to consult the Megatome if we became lost or confused. Okay. So, but we did that part before. It's just the thing with the... You hold the sword up, and that's how it opens a giant tongue of the head, and then you go in the thing, right? I mean, that's what they're telling me to do, obviously. Ooh, something's happening. There's that wolf. Oh, he's, oh, he's coming. This shit got serious. Stop fucking with my babe. Pay attention. We're about to fight that wolf. Probably. He's not coming to get us, so chill for a second. Keep wanting to WASD, but you don't need to in this game. Alright, fuck you, dude. We're gonna fight you. Hell yeah, let's go. I 
try to swing right after he like hits, but it doesn't work. You just have to wait for him to run. Yeah, he just ran. Oh, there's another thing. There's gonna be sprites. What's up, broke? All the butts. Bro, the music in this game is so dope. And uh, after I finish this little section, which I'm assuming is like coming close to finished, I'm gonna, I wanna play Hunt if you're down. Run some trios or something. Dump trucks in the chat. Hell yeah. Uh, okay, so we gotta sing the song of whatever. What am I looking for? Is there even things to click on here? I don't see shit. Tap, hold, and swipe on a sorcery error er roll? The fuck are you talking about? That thing? What's happening? What do I do with that? Nothing, it doesn't do shit. thing? That was just like how it told me to fight earlier. I don't see anything I can click on. If y'all see something I'm missing, feel free. Oh, the trees. It's the trees. Alright, so it's this tree, then this tree, then this tree. Oh, it's that one, that one, that one. Then the big guy. And this guy again? And the little guys? What's happening? Shitting me, bro. So it's the big trees only. So let's go over here. And then the big one, and then that one, and then this one. Oh, all right, all right we got it. Just woke a slumbering Sylvan Sprite beside a solid, st stolid log bridge where four pairs of trees tower above a river, which they also told me and I forgot. Hey, this way I gotta go up there. It's a long ass walk. Oh, mushroom. Yeah. 
Now I got three mushrooms. Any more mushrooms that I'm missing? Is that a door? I did not see that before. There's like an inscription there. Oh, it's locked. A locked door in the forest underbrush below the old road that leads up to Mingy Taw. All right. What's that thing say? Chick's walking slow. On a side path leading away from the old road was a stone carved with a series of previously indecipherable lunar pictograms. Pictograms referred to a secret place located nearby where the moods of the moon could be altered. Moon Grotto? What the fuck are they talking about? Is that here? I don't know what that means. We spied a weathered looking nest box that looked kind of like a face in a creepy way. Alright, well, I guess we're going up here. Well, I can't pick it up. No, I got three. Can't have any more than three. Okay. Well, there's the thing. So, we're singing the song of shit. Fucked it up. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm clicking on rainbows and shit. Rub. Rub what? Rub the rainbow? like a third light because rub one yeah that's what I was thinking too but I don't know what the fuck else they're talking about okay so it's definitely this thing and then that thing and then there's not another there's not another light that I can see I got a rub from like way up here. You gotta click it. Oh. Alright. So we. That one's on now. Got it. So we're clicking this one. And then we're rubbing it until it does something. Got him. We just woke a slumbering sylvan sprite beneath, between two loathsome rainbows by the side of the perilous precipice. I remember them saying that too. And again, I forgot. Well, I can't have the third or a fourth mushroom. So what do I do here? Do I do the sword thing again? Fucking do it. Didn't work. 
I didn't do it right. Do it again. Oop. Hold it up. It's not doing anything. Alright, so right click to make it. Alright, well, what the fuck? Isn't this like a. I think it's telling me to do this. At the edge of the perilous precipice is a stone carved with the glyph of the skyward tour beneath the colors of the rainbow. Beside the insula of the rainbows. Maybe I do it right here. Yeah, it don't work. Well, it worked before. I have to do it down here. What's that thing? We saw, spied the solitary grave at the edge of the perilous precipice, and we wondered what was up with that. Okay, maybe it's down there. Well, oh, fuck, I want to walk down there. Can we walk? Thank you. All right, let's do it right here. Maybe it's this. That's the good shit. Alright, maybe we're taking shrooms. Fuck it. We get a shroom. Whoa. Okay. Oh, there's like a beam of light happening right there. What's that? Maybe that's where I'm supposed to do it. Go. Am I not standing in it right or? Maybe I gotta do it now. Do it over here. I don't know what to do. To one side of the perilous precipice stood a wondrous dolmen thing that sheltered two comfortable looking stone seats. All right, so do we sit? I can get that third mushroom now. We're just chilling. What's this thing? Nothing. Sit on the other seat? Is that a seat? Can't sit there? Nope. Not a seat. Uh, what? Let's pick up the mushroom, I guess. It did say to consult the tome if you're lost. Just gotta say. You know, whenever I feel like I need to gather my strength, I just sit down beside this here heart to warm my boots. Uh, we already read all that. Okay. Well, what? The sheep in the meadow have taken fright. I wonder what's happening over there. Could it be the gold trigon? Whole storms is even go. Okay, so I guess we're going way back over there then. Oh, what the fuck? Was oh, I just needed to get the sprite over here. We just don't go into the cave, I guess. Okay. Let's move out. Whatever this thing is that happens over here, then we'll, um, we'll we'll switch games after that. I'm definitely gonna come back and play this some more though, at some point.
Fellow's just chilling by the water. Wait, shouldn't I lock that? Can we fix that? Kind of thought he was gonna do it by himself, but then he didn't. No, we're not. We're gonna leave that. We're not gonna fuck with that. Scythia, Cimeria, Assyria, and Persia. These are all kingdoms of men. Mingita is the kingdom of the cloud. I've read that before. It's interesting how, like, every bush does some shit. I mean, it doesn't, but. It lets me click it. I guess we're just leaving that door open. I feel like that's a bad idea. Because <clears throat> that thing was there before. Oh, now the sheep are over here. So the sheep left the meadow. Which I'm assuming is why I need to go over there. <clears throat> I don't need to talk to her because I already read her thoughts. They were in the megatome. Okay, now there's nothing here but a mushroom and a bunch of these motherfuckers. Ooh. All right, so now it's like telling me to eat a mushroom. I feel like it's got to be like, what else would it be doing? Oh, it's all sunny and shit. We're eating a mushroom. Uh, what now? Let's pick that other one up. Now it's playing some different music, though. What's in the something in the tome? Bright moon in eight days, what's this guy say? Are you feeling that particular vibe? It's time of it's a time of miracles. Sing a song of sorcery and look up to the looming angry birds. Okay. <clears throat> oh. What birds are you talking? There's no birds. I was supposed to be directing it somewhere. Oh, to that thing. Okay, shit. Some Highlander. Wait, is it Highlander? I know there's like National Treasure where it does that thing. What? What? Oh. Whoa, what? Can I move them? Holy shit. That was cool. <clears throat> All right. So the Triforce or Trigon or whatever the fuck they called it. Can I just pick it up? Oh, fight. I gotta fight it? What? Okay. Seems like a bad idea. anything other than like <laughs> whoa 
dude. I blocked it. Can I dodge or something? Oh, I gotta hit it back. I gotta hit it back. That's definitely it. Yep. told me to block and I didn't pay attention. Oh, I gotta dodge. If I get hit again, I'm dead. I was honestly thought it was about to shoot something. I went to move to the sword and I fucked it up. Can I get up? Shit fucking wrecked me. Well, now I know how to like do it. What's up, dude? So you see you summed in and attempted to tame the gold trigon. I have a few useful few things to tell you that I think you'll find useful is absolutely essential that you touch and hold the shield button whenever you can in order to recover your lost strength. Oh. To tame the gold trigon, you must learn to survive using three the three movements of his bizarre song using a mixture of attack and defense. Look to the heavens for some oblique insight into the workings of this miracle in the meadow, and then behold the gold trigon. I gotta look up. Can I do that? I'm all ghosty and shit though, is that, am I? Oh, I'm like fucked. Hold shield to heal. Okay, I didn't know that. I'm old, the dude. Oh, I got one. Nice. He takes a while before he shoots, I think. I got another one back. I don't think I'll get a third one. Before he shoots me. Okay, here he goes. Nice, I got another one. He's gonna shoot, he's gonna shoot. like hard to tell from this angle like when I should I'm doing it right though I feel like I'm waiting too late I'm not gonna get another one he's gonna shoot me again Oh, come on, man. You gotta wait, like, until the absolute... Fuck. Fuck! Come on, dude. Yes. Alright, we're healing, we're healing, we're healing. Is it, is it gonna give me enough time to heal? I think I'll get one. 
Because he's going to tell me to, like, jump dodge or whatever. I think it's coming. I don't have time for... I don't have time to do another one. He's gonna do it again, I know he is. Yeah, fuck you, guy. Is he gonna do it again? He is, probably. I might have time for one more. Yes. I think he's gonna do it again. Because he did, and this is what killed me. Oh, shit. Oh, I can't block that. Oh, what the fuck? Bro, that wasn't fair. Come on. All right, so we're sword for two stages, then only shield, then shield again, then mixture of the two. What goes up? Orb. And then he's gonna beam it. So can I heal before we go over there? No. Fuck, oh, man. This sucks that I gotta worry about healing now. Before I even... Cause I'm gonna try this. This is the last time. Wait, what? No. What? What? No. We got, oh, yeah, right click. Alright, we'll get at least one. Maybe two. I think I got two. So he's all all sword for the first like two stages. Then he's all shield for two stages. And when he rises up, he's gonna shoot those triangles at me. We got this. He's gonna shoot soon. goes nice I got four though Ugh. stresses me out Now we're going high speed. Red beam. What the fuck, bro? I gotta swing her. Oh, I'm swinging too early. I have time for one. I don't have time for another one. Okay, so it's all shield for like two stages. He's gonna do it again. 
All shield. Still shield. Pretty sure. I don't know if I have time to heal, so I'm not gonna do it. Probably do, but fuck it. All shield, I think. Then he starts shooting them at me when they go up. Shield again. Nice. And it's shield. Did I get it? That was it. Is it over? Oh, but it's not over. Oh, I got it. Man, that means I was so close because that last one is actually the one that killed me. Alright, so fucking get it. Sick. Told you the music in this game is dope. Bravo. You have located and subdued the cosmic geometry of the Golden Trigon. Miraculously, the sinister storm is lifted and glorious sunlight has returned to the realm, so that's totally awesome. These heroic deeds reflect well upon your perceptiveness, intuition, and perseverance. You have done exceedingly well so far. Note, should you choose to continue the Super Brother Sword and Sorcery EP experiment, those aforementioned qualities will be challenged and evaluated. So you're telling me it's going to get harder. In any case, let's take another little break, shall we? As always, I'll be right here whenever you're begin ready to begin Session 3. All right, so I think we'll save Session 3. For the last time. Jim Guthrie. That's the guy who makes music. Oh, so that's as far so that was the percentage that it was. So I guess I did all that before. I don't remember that, but we started and we like cleared the data. That's where it was. Okay, cool. That was fucking nice. Uh, yes. Yes, I want to exit the game. What y'all think of that? That was pretty sick, right? I liked it. Music was pretty good, right? All right, let me um, restart Steam. update seem later I'm gonna change my category and then I'm gonna take a short ad break my stomach is bubbling I kind of need to poop
That was an interesting, um... Just, I took an anti-gas thing, but it's just like I'm bubbling. Like I don't have to go. I just feel like I need to fart, but I can't trust the fart. So I'm not going to fart. Because I don't want to poop. All right, I'm going to run this ad. Give me a second. We'll just chill here. Start the game while we're waiting. Uh, 40 seconds. <clears throat> I wasn't in my own Discord. I forgot. I do that a lot. I got one, two, three level maxed out. You're maxed out, guys. And, and you're offline on Steam. Oh, uh, I'm not. I am um, invisible. My bad. There you go. What's up, guy? Ow. Oh shit! I'm hearing you twice. Let me come meet your stream. Oh, um, did you? Uh, what did you think of that game? That was sick, right? Yeah, it seemed interesting. Yeah, it was, it's artistic. Like I like the pixel art sometimes. Um, but what I know about that game, or what I knew before tonight, was like the music, because I I had actually um. That's what I was talking about my Discord earlier today. I actually bought that that album like through Steam right after I got that game a long time ago, and I never like played the game. Like I never went that far. I guess I got as far as I did tonight, but like I don't remember. It's been like fucking forever. Um, because the game came out in 2012, I think. Uh, I think I said six before, but it's 2012. Uh, but that's still like I think I played it like last time I played it was like five years ago or something at least. So, um. Yeah, it was awesome though. You just went super robot. Domo arigato. Probably because you're loading the game up. 
if I was going to guess. Still there? I'm back. Sorry, I had a sure. fucking AC was making a weird noise. Oh. Um, but yeah, the music, the music in that game was like really sick. So like from the beginning there, there was like this part where you like follow Logfella into the woods or whatever. But it seemed like the music only starts at certain parts, and it kind of like went along with like what was happening. So like I walked into the thing, and then it was like it got this like sick beat, and then it was changing it based on like what was happening. It was actually it's interesting how they did that. So I remember when I first heard of that game, that's the way they promoted it. They were like, yo, make sure you're wearing headphones for this game. Like, that's the kind of game this it, is. It needs the headphones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's definitely because you need that immersive, like, that's what makes it good. Also, do you notice my camera is, like, way smooth now? I did not see that. You did not notice any difference on my cam? No. Like the quality looks the same. If if anything, I got a little better. But the the motion. So I don't move around that much. But like, if you look at me move now, it's super smooth because I'm in sixty frames per second and not thirty. My oh. my other camera didn't do sixty fps. Uh, live view, 1080p. It's still 1080p, but it's uh, sixty instead of thirty because it's a Sony A6000 that I picked up this week. Yo, we have to win. Why? Because I'm bringing a 47, and you know my fucking luck. Uh, oh, yeah. Near a 15. <laughs> right. I thought you were even bringing a Torborg. I was going to say, well, Torborg's, no, Torborg's no, definitely No, I'm saying, like, c could you try hard? Yeah, <laughs> could, you, could you try hard? Yeah, I'll get right on that. Uh, Blade Edge said he'll join once he's done doing Dark Souls. Who's that? Oh, Blade Edge. Yeah, he been grinding the Dark Souls, man. Not... I never really got into it. I sucked because I, I never didn't played like it. I sucked at the start, so I just was like, eh. I've literally Dang. never played it. It's just a hardcore RPG. Right. Well, I know what it is. I've seen it played, but it just seemed like it's notorious for being difficult. Like, why would I subject myself to that? Exactly that. It's just like, oh, I don't want to see myself. Oh, yeah, I died. Oh, dude, I died 115 times during this playthrough. Like, fuck, that doesn't sound fun. No, it doesn't. You gonna fuck this up for me? You gonna fuck this up for me, Salty? No. Oh. He just said it's so easy. What do you mean? He said Dark Souls is so easy, you just no, need a mentor. Oh, he did? Fuck yeah, you said it in my chat. Fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> fuck you. Oh, what'd you have in here, babe? Didn't we already have one? Didn't you already have one of these? Oh, was it... Hillary's? I thought we had a blender bottle. He said, Daddy Dark Souls has got your back. I'm not playing Dark Souls, but maybe, maybe eventually, but no time soon. Not this year, probably not next year. <laughs> don't, uh, don't hold your breath. I'm going live, babe. Woo. I'm live. Live, live and in person. From the garden. What's up, Twitch? It's your boy, broke his phone. Coming at you with 536 ping. You know what it is. <laughs> Woo! We be ping switching these bitches all day long. Oh, yeah. Dude, did you, did you see Doc play it this week? It was actually... He was, I heard it, he was playing. It was, yeah. He, he put out a... If oh, you don't want to watch the whole stream... No, no, no. I mean, he struggled at the beginning because everybody does. Because okay. he didn't know what was happening. But um, he did the tutorial. But then he um, he did a lot better later. But he put out a like a like a... A summary like a clip like a 10 minute thing that just shows his whole time in the game or whatever holy shit the game's really loud hold on oh shit thanks for the follow Haas 
0312 master, which I assume is also hooked to ha host 00312. Also probably a bot. Who would bot follow? Bro, people do that shit now. Also, I swear I heard steps over here. Just an FYI. Let's go, let's go. Oh, it's single bounty too. You know it's funny? So my YouTube videos, the ones that have done like a little better, I've got that one is like the one that only one I've ever had that like kind of hit is has like 8,000 views on it or something now. Um, but the other ones, they never, they don't hit until like, it's like three weeks. Like they have to be up there for like two to three weeks and then all of a sudden they get like zero, two to four views and then all of a sudden they'll get like 20, 30, 40 and then they start going up from there. But it takes weeks. But I don't know why. <laughs> like nobody. Wonder if it's because like the stuff that's fresh is the stuff that people are already subscribed to, so they're gonna view that by default. And so the stuff that's aged is the stuff that gets on the home page after a few days or a few weeks. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. That that makes sense. Like they're not watching me because they don't know who I am, but then it gets recommended later. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, or like you know they're we're watching going to a video that's related to what you're watching. And like it's just part of their subscriptions, and it's not gonna pop up for them until they're like watching something that's actually distinctly related to it. And you know, if someone releases, you know, if someone releases a video about OBS, right, and they're more famous, but then someone looks at their video, and that video got released like three or four days ago, it, you know, it's gonna put you in the suggested a lot more because your thing is like directly related to that, you know. Did you piss off an emulator? Uh, yeah. All right. Just want to make sure he wasn't coming out here. Bro, I'm so fucking hungry. We got lasagna cooking in the oven. Lasagna? Yeah. Some stoopers. Oh, nice. i put some garlic butter on some rolls. My wife makes a, uh, a homemade lasagna that is pretty awesome. My mom used to make homemade lasagna, but it took her three days to make it every time she does it because she like makes the pasta and all that. Oh shit. yeah, so, no, like, she wasn't she doing. Doesn't my do wife doesn't do that. We buy dry pasta, but yeah, she's. I mean, my mom's Italian, but like. Oh, that's just right. the thing yeah. is, like, mom's like my mom's a good cook, but she's also a good cook when she wants to be a good cook. So like, there's certain times when like she'll be like, oh look at this thing I made, and it's just like, oh this is very interesting, not something I would enjoy. But then, like, when it comes to normal <laughs> dishes, she'll fucking smash it out of the park. Like lasagna, or like anything Italian, because she's got, like, this little book that my, uh, grandma gave her. Someone's probably here. Yeah. Yeah, I just saw crows, and they weren't I from you. Them. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Someone's fighting it. I hear people. They're fighting it, yeah. I crown, so I'm pushing. Fuck, man, there's an emulator, but that way I can't go that way. Got one. Damn, dude. You pushed way far. I did not know you were all the way up here. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Here's someone over here.
in there in the in the field. Yep, yep, I see him. Running right, he's swinging around the house. I'm gonna meet him on the other side. If I can vault this fucking fence, it won't let me go. Coming around his right side. Got a present for him. No hit. Not sure how exactly. Oh, I see him. I heard him. I steal the bounty. Okay. I'm watching him. I'm waiting for him anyway. I hit him. Ah, fuck oh, you. He got a headshot. Call well packs. Okay, I'm burning his teammate then. Actually, maybe it wasn't even a headshot. Whatever. Fuck you. He hit me once. Well, he hit me twice, but. The first hit did nothing, and the second one killed me. He's hurt. You're gonna open that window. Somebody. Oh shit, he killed somebody else. <laughs> nice. Yeah, come scoop me. I know, we gotta go right back to the bounty though, because there's definitely another team, obviously. Yeah. Oh shit. Woo! I can't believe I didn't get hit. I can't believe you didn't get hit. I am moving evasively and trying not to die right now. I have one health right bar. Back to the, I'm, I'm, oh, I see him. I see him. Okay, I ducked. I'm, in, I'm, I'm, in. I'm healing. I'm, I'm healing. In. I'm healing. I made it to the back side of the building where he can't shoot at me. All right, I'm back to full health. I would come in this side. You can come up on the right side of the thing, up those hay bales to get inside. Okay. Oh shit, he's over there. Where's that? I hear that. Over he's, here somewhere? Yeah, he's out there. I don't know where. I'm healing again. Oh, I see him right here. Coming inside. And he's not coming in with me because I just put a concertina bomb on that door. Fuck you. Uh, the boss dropped ammo if you need it. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, now there's some action out there. Oh shit, people are dying. Where's this chick at? I don't know, I'm the bounty's coming up. What do you mean chick? Oh, I heard somebody outside get hit, but she didn't die, yeah, did they, she? She died. Oh. Whoever got hit could die, because I heard a death sound from that. Bounds up. Alright, coming. Alright, I got just picked up 101 and 5, and picked up one, uh, 15 as well. Let's go south. All right. Because obviously there's a fight going on. Let's try to take advantage of that, you know.
Oh shit, he's pinging shots off of me. He's not hitting me, but he's pinging them. Are there any barrels over here? Oh shit! More of them. I know. It's the same guy. Dude, he's he's firing from way out there oh, too. I just up my team over like, God, I'm stupid. I have no stam left. I don't either. I didn't bring a stam shot. I am literally just like huffing and puffing. Me too, but we'll get there. I'll start it. Ooh. That almost hit me. Oh yeah, almost hit I me too. Bit. Yeah, I zigged. Once you get right where I was, you're good because you can you can take a left and you can cover yourself on a wall all the way over here so you get a little bit more right. Uh yeah, unless he kills me before then. Oh, he's really trying. Oh, these guys want me dead. Damn, dude, he's hitting the dirt right next to me. He is so close. Oh, he hit me that time. He hit me that time. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm just so fucking slow right now. Where is he shooting me from? I'm back and forth. How much time? 15 seconds. Just keep coming. You're good. Yeah. I see him. I see him. Just get in. Duck, 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 just duck. Nice. Woo! <laughs> Goodbye. That was two teams, or they were pretty split. I don't couldn't tell, but yeah, because there's another team. I when I scanned, I swear I picked up three or four people. I mean, you know, he took about 15 shots at us. He hit us once, so I would feel like that's okay. Mm-hmm. He was coming real close, like I was zigging and zagging. And he was like snapping the dirt next to me. Brah. Another max level in the bank. Alright, who's coming next? I guess Olivia's coming out. Nice. I have more than max right now because I bought the that one guy I just maxed out. So this Livia's got to either die or something. <clears throat> I don't like that they added the the fucking upgrade, like one of the what you call it. So because it changed the position of everything. I used to know where shit is and now it's moved and I don't like that. Because I used to like know exactly where I was clicking. And now I have to like oh, for read the, them. For where all the perks are? Yeah. Yeah, no, I know it feels exactly the same. But uh, you, as Blade Edge just says, he always did it by alphabetical, so it didn't really change anything. Oh, yeah, I always did it by price. Alphabetical would be smart. Mm, what do I want? Gator legs. Where's Greyhound? There it is. Got it. One second. my daughter's name what olivia my character's name? yeah oh oh i didn't forget that um 
Yeah, in this, but you got to watch that doc video of him playing Hunt because in the middle of the video while he was streaming Hunt, fucking baby assassin comes on stream. His daughter, who I I don't think has ever been on the stream before. I've never seen her before. And I've been watching him for a long time. Maybe I just missed it, but um He's got like a six year old, seven year old girl, I think. Maybe five, I don't know. I can't tell kids' ages usually, but she um she comes on and like talks to him for a little bit. And he's just like bullshitting with her and she's like, Can I play? And he was like, uh Hell yeah, you gotta show me what you got. And then she's like, wait, really? Can I play? And he was like, no. <laughs> uh -huh. How old is she? She was like a little kid, like like six, seven max. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because it, yeah, it's like a murder. <laughs> I'm not a letting murder. my six-year-old play my hunt profile. Right. Well, shit. it's uh -huh. not, e no, it's not even that. I mean, that's like, kids shouldn't be watching a game like that. It's all, you know, yeah. zombies and murder and shit. my oh babe you have it <laughs> every time I give my babe pen to Lydia she just like when she's done with it she'll just like throw it on the floor isn't that right What? Wait, did I miss something? Where's the fucking clue? Oh, there it goes. It didn't show up in dark side for me for a minute. Like, nothing was there. <laughs> oh. We're making all the noise right now. Uh, you want to go to Ash Creek, or you want to stay to the side? Let's cut her right. Go to Weeping Stone. I don't think it's an Ash Creek. Was that you? No, that wasn't me. What are you talking about? The melee? That was you. Oh, yes, the melee was me. Okay, well, that's why I was, like, concerned. Oh, you got it already. Ah. I was literally about to serp it. Get riggedy wrecked. <laughs> That's fine. I came in here to get away from all that bullshit that was outside. I had to fight so much shit just to get that clue to him. That's why I didn't stay out there. But I'm not even where you at. What are you talking about? Oh. Willis? Yeah, your clue cleared my clue then. I thought you got my clue that I was about to serp. Even from what you talking about, Willis? Uh, Webster. Hey, fuck you, dog. I stabbed you twice and you didn't die. With a regular knife, too. That was a big explosion. Is 
saved it. Zombie just fucked me up. He's gonna fuck me up again. Ooh, missed. Damn, okay. Oh, I was getting close. I'll meet you at the cart. Alright. The fuck is the cart? Oh, it's on this side. Hold on. I heard steps. That was me. No, I... I think I heard other steps. Uh, maybe not, but I feel like somebody's going to be, like, right here. How was it? What are you doing? I was vaping. Oh, you were like, bleh, bleh. what? <laughs> they were stroking out. Huh. Oh, fuck that guy. There's a mine guy and he fucking set me on fire. See him? No, I just rolled the door open. He just threw something out. Yeah, I know. Hold on, I got a frag. I'm throwing it in. Fuck. Yeah, he's got one over here too. All right, I got Dinamita. I'm gonna blow it open. Okay. Oh shit, watch out. I'm good. Didn't take it at health. All right, just nice. Yeah. I'm serpenting it. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So close, I'm so close. Got it. Nice. They're both in there. What? I'm in the middle of the fight, babe. Sorry. <laughs> babe. Hold on. I gotta heal.
shit! I couldn't stop the bleeding in time and he got me. See that shit? <laughs> I killed the one guy, he fell into fire and started burning. And then I was bleeding and I was stopping the bleeding and he ran out and shot me while I was stopping it. Talk, she was talking to me, and I looked over, and yeah, that's what killed me. Yeah, well, I almost, I got one of them. I don't know if you saw. I saw that, yeah. Yeah, and then the other, I was literally bleeding from... Yeah, bleeding ammo, yeah. Yeah, and so I was healing the bleed, and it was literally, the circle was almost full, and he came out, and he shot me right before. Because I couldn't, I had, like, no health left, so if I didn't stop the bleeding, I was going to die anyway. Clementia Weatherton. Serpent. At least you get the credit for getting the uh, the bounty there. I guess not. Yeah. And I got a kill, so it wasn't all it wasn't all bad. Bro, I'm twenty thousand from two hundred. Two hundred what? Thousand. Oh shit. <laughs> I have 9,000. I have 948 blood bonds. I just never, I just never use them. Bro, you and the wife and kids should come out to the lodge sometime. To the lodge? Yeah, in Kirkland. What's For what? To eat. Oh, 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 I got you. Okay. I was like, do you own a lodge? Like, I'm so confused. No, I got you now. I got you. Yeah, I might. That it's actually. Cheap food. Is it? Okay, and so like all the burgers are between fourteen and sixteen dollars. Like the most expensive mantra we have sixteen dollars. Like you know, fish and chips is twelve. Wait, did you just call that cheap? That's what? not. That's not fucking cheap. I said the most expensive is nineteen. I know, but I think you said it's cheap food, and then you were like, <laughs> sixteen dollar yeah, burger. Burgers. Yeah, fourteen to sixteen dollars. In that area, that's cheap, I guess, but. Yeah. Yeah, in general, not, that is I'm not cheap. I'm not talking cheap. about a small burger. It's like an eight-ounce burger with like it's, and the guy's won like he's award-winning burger. He's won uh, three awards running. It's like 2017, 2018, 2019 because those are the years they did it for the burger oh. contest. It's good. It's good. We have like 12 different burgers. We have an elk burger and a buffalo burger on the menu too. I have had buffalo. I don't think I've eaten elk. Uh, I've had buffalo, and when I've had buffalo, I've only had pure buffalo burgers, and both times I had the runs afterwards. Have you ever been to a place called Fuddruckers? That sounds familiar. That definitely is a name that sounds familiar. I don't know if they're nationwide. I think they might just be East Coast, but they are. Um, it's a burger place, and it's like it's like Applebee's level, or even just a little bit lower as far as like ex like prices and shit. Um, but anyway, they, the reason I brought it up is because the buffalo and shit like that, they have like, they have regular beef and like turkey patties and shit like that, but then they also have kind of like exotic meats a little bit. They have, uh, you can get ostrich there. You can oh, get, wow. you can get buffalo, you can get, um, uh, elk, you can get, um, I feel like alligator or some weird shit, like some other shit. I haven't tried all of it. I, I they had it when it was around when I was a kid on the East coast. I haven't been near there in a long time. They also have really good hot dogs too, and they have uh, a bunch of different like meat types for the hot dogs too. So if you if you end up ever being near a place that has that or you're traveling or something like that, you Fud should Ruckers. definitely yeah, Fud Ruckers. It's like a yellow circle um, like label or like a sign with like a Fud Ruckers written across the middle of it. Huh. That's good. And it's and it's an interesting like so you can at least uh, you can say like I ate uh, I had fucking ostrich burger How yeah was ostrich um I can't remember but I know I've eaten the ostrich I d I've had ostrich I had buffalo and like I said I don't think I had um, did buffalo affect you the same way it affected me I don't remember I mean it's been fifteen years 
but I don't, I don't think so. Maybe you had some bad buffalo. So our chef, he purposely, he, what he does is for both the elk burger and the buffalo burger is he does a, a beef mix into it. Because elk and buffalo are, he says he thinks they're just a bit too gamey and it overpowers the flavor of the burger. And so beef isn't gamey and so it's not like trying to fight for the flavor of the burger and so that's why he throws like 40 percent beef in the elk in the buffalo burger hmm. it says it on the menu it's not like you know not like they're lying to people yeah. i'm gonna get the other one since it's down here if it lets us that'll be sick nope. yeah that's a shame they're literally right next to each other. That'd be sick. You're going the wrong way. Me? What are you talking about? Are you just you're just going up and around? I had to go up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Come at me, bro. Mm. Don't tase me, bro. Bro, I haven't heard that fucking meme in a long time. That's how you know you're aged if you say stuff like that. Shit. Yeah, because kids today don't know what that Boomers is. Boomers don't know that shit. Don't tase me, bro. Uh, I want to point it out to you once again, by the way, I'm using the uh, that short stock rifle that I was using before that I you managed. said doesn't have a crack in it. When the timer goes off, baby, you just take the film off and then put it back in and you leave, cook it for five more minutes and then it's done. That's it. Did you hear me? What? No, what did you say? I said the, uh, I just wanted to point out to you that I'm using that short stock, um, rifle again the uh the winfield vandal dead eye and it's uh doesn't have a crack in it this time either like almost okay. i should use the martini no i need the short stock blade edge because i want to carry dual nagants i was using winchester last game and it, i i don't or the winnie swift and honestly i uh oh uh, why would i do that i could do this There we go. I got her. Someone's been here. They're already in the Oh, there. yeah, they're, they're here. They're here. Yeah, yeah. I hear where he's coming from. I'm swinging around. Right yeah, yeah, I know. I hear him. Oh, shit. He saw me. Fuck. burning it's all right I got choky jokes I didn't know he was right there, and he was shooting with dumb dumb ammo, so I was bleeding instantly. Oh also, I'm pretty sure that's his real name on his fucking username. Probably not the best idea. <laughs> Alright, I'll have to take a 30 minute break so I can eat my food. Okay. With Lydia. I'll be back though. Okay. Yeah, he killed me with the dumb dumb ammo. He shot me twice, and I was like fucking hard bleeding, and I was dead. I'll be back. From that distance, he was leading pretty solid on the Caldwell. Good for him. Because that was evasive maneuvering and it didn't matter.
Plate Edge, if you're ready, we can do some duos while he's eating. souls well What I might do then is finally go use the toilet. Because <clears throat> I do need to go. Uh, yeah. Let me... Let me go do that. I'm going to run an ad break. <laughs> and I'll be right back. Probably five ish minutes. Here, I'll mute the game and play some music so you guys can listen to something.
Big boy. Are you alive? All right. <clears throat> wasn't uh wasn't the poop I'd hoped for. If you guys care to know? It was um just a lot of gas. That's what all the bubbling's been in my stomach. It's just gas. What the fuck happened? I'm gonna find a new picture for the smart thing behind me. I've done the hamburger. Hmm. You can do, how's that nighttime city look? The lightning bolts? It's actually pretty sick. Hey, Bo, hey. Mm. Nobody's, nobody's here. Broke Seaton. Boy, did you hear? No. Still playing Dark Souls, I bet. Might do a quick play. My last Rockstar, too. Yep, still in Dark Souls. thing I hate about having that light off to the side like I did now so like for the, the artistic lighting or dramatic or whatever where you have like the the light on the side of my face and then like the shadows and stuff and the proper contour is that it fucking shadows me on the wall like really bad and I'm gonna fix that because I'm going to put something on this wall soon actually I found a website um, that makes these metal art. It's a, essentially a motor, metal poster, but they're not huge. They make bigger ones. But I've got like four of them in mind. It's gonna be like here, here, here. Well, I guess on stream it would be like part of, it would be like here, 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 and here. So you guys will see them and then it'll kind of like shade that wall a little bit they're not glossy they have a glossy version but i'm not going to use them 
thinking ponytail chick. Yeah, let's go ponytail. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna be farty all night, I guess. Anyway, um. Fuck was I saying? Oh yeah, so they're not. They have a non-glossy version or whatever. Um, so they won't reflect too much of the light, and they'll just be like, they're like video game posters and shit like that. I just picked like four that I, some shows, animes and shit, and like stuff I'm interested in. Anyway, um, they're not cheap though. They're like forty-four dollars a piece. What I did though. Pro tip, by the way. You find something you want on a website like that. I created an account. And then I added the four that I want to my shopping cart or whatever. And I just left them there. So now I'm not touching them. And the key to that is usually those websites. I don't know if this one does, but it's only been a couple of days. Usually after like a week. If they just sit in your cart, they try to, like, get you to close that purchase out. They're like, oh, you forgot or whatever. They're like, hey, here's, like, 20% off or something. And they'll give you a discount or free shipping or something like that. And then, um, you know, sweeten the pot. So you'll try to buy them. Or they'll think you'll go buy them, you know. Reality. Jokes on them. I bought. I would have bought them anyway. I just don't have the money right now. I gotta save for a little bit. Um. And then, but by the time I am comfortable to where I could get them anyway, that hopefully they'll discount them, and then I just pick them up. shall see I feel like I might need to so the 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 focal length on this lens it's a wider shot so you can actually see more than you could see before so that's why there's like all this room above my head so I could tilt the camera down a little bit but like I don't want to cut off stuff on the wall behind me. I don't know. I'll figure it out. At least I started out with a gun that doesn't suck too bad. The worst one is when they give you a fucking crossbow. Like the hand crossbow. Because if you run into somebody at the beginning, like... I don't know anybody that mains hand crossbow. Or even offhands it. Like, nobody does that. Although it is a fog map. Which I haven't seen in a long time, actually. We were just talking about this the other day. Where we, uh... We had a night map. And, and uh, hadn't had a night game in, like weeks piss off the spiky guy because I'm sure that's what he is. Ooh, rifle, what do you got? Hell yeah, is that my gun? Winnie Vandal. Nice. Not the dead eye variant, but alright. Not mad about that. 
I don't want to go to... Oh, shit. I was way down at CNA. Closest ones are out here. And Nichols, where, is where I don't want to go, but... right there. Where did he go? Oh. Do you know I'm here? I didn't set those birds off. Oh, yeah, he ran that way. There's people in prison. Kinds of shit going on out there. Me up coming up in prison. Damn, everybody's converging right here. This should be fun in a minute. The hive ladies for days. Oh, he's here. Wait, is he not here? Oh, fuck. He's all the way at mob, but somebody's here. Is 
Because he was just fighting the bugs. Whatever, I gotta go. Yeah, I'll take the talent, I guess. I only got a single pistol anyway. Where that guy was crossing. Well, I can't see shit through this fucking milk. Party over here of zombies. About to get killed. Can you not earn these points in here? There it goes. I've been killed so many times in this compound.
Fuck it. That guy's gonna shoot me in the back, but here we go. such a bad position right now. Wasting so much time here. Went out in the water. See, what good are you doing killing me, man? I'm not the dark side guy. Like, I'm not the guy with the thing. And there's no time. So you lost too. So you waited me out in a bush for nothing. You didn't have the bounty or the whatever. have the wellspring that's what it's called i didn't either you went for the kill then you waited on me and didn't move well Wait, did green tea kill me? Doesn't say who killed me. Oh, because nobody killed me. We ran out of time. Oh, shit, it's already 11.50? I'm not going to play on anymore. I think we're going to switch to Yu-Gi-Oh! soon. It's been more than, more than 30 minutes. He's not coming back. And I'm going to play... Um, I've been grinding gems all week off stream and not using them. So, like... We're going to open some packs and finish Vendreds tonight for sure. I've been uh, reformatting my, my Dark Magician deck. 
added some new cards, changed it up a little bit. Put the Dark Magician Girl in there now. I think I saw that. You all saw that last week, but now I have Magician's Rod in there. That's new. I recently just picked that up. Oh, literally what I was just talking about. What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? How you doing? What's up? Are you in a game? Huh? Are you in a game? Yeah, I just started a quick play. Another one. Hi. Oh, God. Wait, was that just you the whole time, or was that... You sounded like Shib. No, that was me the whole time. Huh? That was me the whole time. That was weird when you were like, Saw dead. Like, that sounded like Shib. Saw dead. Saw dead. Saw dead. Yeah, 100% it sounds like Shib. That's, that was funny. That's a good Shib impression. I might have got shot in the face because I have a hand crossbow. Never mind, now I got a Bornheim. Where's that shit? Is it pissed at me or is there somebody right there? Martini, dead eye. Fuck, dude. I don't want to deal with this fucking piece of shit. Spectre Compact. Uh, I'll keep the martini. Well, I don't know where those fuckers are, but that was some action. Um, we gotta go down to Blanchett. Sister's name is named after a plant, Laurel, and Laurel produces cyanide. Yes, it's one of the most poisonous plants in the world. Dude, they're breaking this wall. Oh, maybe he's mad at me. Might have been. Fuck.
Oh, well, I'm setting the birds off. Not something I normally do. Especially in this game mode, but I'll do it. Concertina bomb. Taxpayer. No. And the wellspring is about to be mine. Wellspringer. And they pitch all the way to the top of the church they can, right? Broke. Are you yeah, in here? I say, can they pitch all the way to the top of the church? No. Oh, pitching. If they have pitching, yes. Only if they have pitching. Pitcher. Okay. So I'm safe up here if I just chill at the top of the church at Healing yes, Water. Yes, but if they come down to the... If they're below you, you have to sort of engage them because they can just sort of wail through the floor and try to get you. Okay. Well, I have a concertina bomb. Oh, okay, then. Fuck. <laughs> That's a dick move, but I'm going to take the W. I don't give a fuck. He's already trying to snipe me through the wall.
He knows I'm up here. Oh, shit. Yeah. No, he got me easy. Through the wall. 12 meters. How did he get... How did he get... To, oh, I guess he was... You could get to the other part. Yeah, so he went underneath and just shot through both layers of floor, and I guess that works. Now he's just trapping up all the doors. This is green tea. This is the guy that had it last time. So this is one of these. He's like uh, you, where you just over. He's playing quick play all night. He's not doing anything else. Who? Green tea. Who? Green tea. Oh, you just yeah. You see him all the time? No, I was just uh, yeah. You like cover your mic. I think when you first said it. No, I have a mouthful of goldfish. Um. Yeah, no, he he was in the last game with me. I just I did two quick plays. Um, he killed me in the last one. Now he killed me again. Well, he didn't kill me. No, the timer killed me. But you know what I mean. He had the fucking uh, thing. Well, spring. Does anyone even try to kill you yet? Yeah, he already killed me. I'm dead. I'm spectating him. Oh, I wasn't him. paying attention. Yeah, I'm saying he killed me. Oh. I'm I'm just watching him though, and he's he's being weird. Why? I don't know. Like he's aiming at. There's nobody inside the building with him at all, and he's aiming like he knows where people are on the outside of the building. Hmm. Like I see what the server sees, but yeah. Like, the way he's aiming and following people is not, um, I don't know. A little, little sus. Maybe. He's Prestige 18. That tells you anything. Yeah, it's already after midnight. Um, we can run one more duos, but then I'm going to switch to Yu-Gi-Oh. Nah, that's chill. All right. I want to see how this guy turns out. If he's if he wins it and he only had to kill me, I'm actually going to be a little mad. Because literally nobody else has shown up yet. He ran up, immediately came up there, shot through both layers of floor and killed me. So he couldn't get to the lower floor underneath me, but he shot through both, and apparently that works. He just started blind firing a Caldwell Pax until, until he killed. Yeah, he's so. He, okay, that's weird. Unless he accidentally fired just now, he's firing it where people are outside the building, like not even through, like not through a wall that he would be able to shoot through. Yeah. <coughs> this is the shit people do, man. They like prevent loading of textures and stuff so they see nothing. And they just, yeah, they literally see the people and they don't see the building or anything. They just see like a wireframe or they see like edges, no doors, nothing like that. That's what, when they do weird shit like that and people are just like trying to get through stuff like they don't know it's there, that's, that's when I'm like, hey, you're fucking cheating. Or you're exploiting. Yeah, like he's firing and there's nobody there. Oh, no, he's just setting his own trap off because the time ran out. Yeah, he won. All he did was kill me. Nobody even nearby. Wow. 
I'm actually a little disappointed in that. <clears throat> Granted, I didn't fight him. I just fucking sat in a corner up there and he shot me. I also didn't care. There was uh, three other people. So me plus four total. Yeah, after you go. Yeah, I've been grinding gems all week off stream and uh and not been spending them so i am uh good luck yeah i'm about to about to open some packs try to try to get my uh my new deck settled vendreds some good stuff
But I'm fucking muted. I didn't even know that. I was like talking the whole time. When I loaded up the profile, it muted me. I should have paid attention to that. That's my bad. Well, what I was doing was complaining about Konami ID not like seeming like it was going to transfer, but it did. So I have 1177 gems right now. So we're good. It did transfer. It didn't seem like it was going to, or I don't know what the fuck was going on. Uh, I should be set to Bandit Keith too, right? Pretty sure I am. So we'll get some. Whoa. Also, didn't realize that turned off the music. Wait, 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 wait. My monster attacks you directly. So when it transferred, it. I'm coming at you. My, crap. my monster attacks you directly. Ah! You wise guy. Well, that ends my turn. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, it's uh, my turn. All right, I turned character lines off, so it shouldn't load anything else. Jesus. That's why the volume got weird. Uh, self chain off. That should be fine. That's fine. I feel like there's something else I need to change. Now I gotta fix it, hold on. There we go. We should be set now. All the stupid lines are off. Oh my god, why is it so loud? What the fuck? God, I swear we fixed it and it's like it it broke it. We'll get it worked out, hold on. I played on my phone and I, I knew it reset settings when you did that shit, but I like forgot. Should be set.
still seems too fucking loud, man. to avoid all the grinding on stream so you guys didn't see that because it's boring but when I transfer to my phone and then go back it like resets all my settings and because I don't have that shit on my phone either but it like I don't know it clears out your shit for whatever reason but it, it kept my stuff so I have my gems a lot of them and then um, He's level 11. I gotta get him to 15 to get some more gems. They don't have that um, extra experience thing. They cut it off this week. Save that for some of the ranked grind. That's what I did. I started playing this event and I started um, maxing some, some gemage. Too many turns. Chick was holding on. Alright, so that was all of them. Then I have the Vagabond. Rookie rank three. Well, that should be easy. We'll do an extra card anyway just to lock in the victory. <laughs> Maybe. Makes me feel better anyway. Pop this feather duster. Yeah, rookie rank three's got some. That's a bullshit deck for rookie rank three. He just doesn't play ranks. Yeah, he won. He fucking destroyed me. I mean, I bricked a little bit, but Jesus. Yeah, he was playing Gaia's. That's not rookie rank three. That's fucking top tier. That's some bullshit. Whatever. Fuck the Vagabond. Send him to Chrysal. Oh, did I get some more of these? Yeah, I gotta perform one Synchro Summon. Which I have not... I don't have any cards for that. Maybe I do. Fuck, man, I don't wanna edit a deck just for that crap. I 
as I could. Synchro. I literally have nothing. Oh, that's why. Archfiend Zombie Skull. Plague Spare Zombie plus two more non tuner zombie type monsters. I hate fucking synchros. <clears throat> like, I don't even want it. But I just want that one stupid bingo thing. Plague Spreader Zombie plus one more non-tuner Zite. Uh, what's an easy one? Turbo Synchro plus one more non-tuner type monster. One or more. They're all level six. Well, there's a level two. What's this? To one tuner plus one non-tuner monster. When this card is synchro summon, you can draw one card. One tuner plus one non-tuner monster. How much do you have to have that shit? Oh, so these are specific turbo synchron. I don't even know how this shit works. That's a formula synchron. synchro effect so like how would I bring this out then I need a tuner It's one tuner plus one non tuner monster. So I need a tuner monster. So something easy to bring out. Because I don't even care. So I can bring this guy. Monster. So any other thing, and then I can summon that thing with those two. I guess so. If I have this out, maybe I don't fully understand this shit. All of these have zero attack. Cause the idea is they're not gonna stay out there. Happen by itself. No, wait, I don't have any auto duels left. I gotta do it myself. Let's play somebody easy. Let's see if we can do it once.
Did I change my category? I just realized I changed my stream title, but I don't think I changed my category. I did not. I am still in Hunch Go Down. There we go. Now I changed it. Um. All right, so can I play this? Wait, oh, I went first, that's why. I don't wanna do anything. Great, I'll take it. Oh, shit. Thank you. Why can't I pay? Oh, because it has to be a dark. Oh, gosh, fuck, man. This is a brick. I don't want to kill that Synchron. I lost. Unless I draw something. Nope. Fucked. Can I get rid of this? And pull something else? There's something. But I can't pay 800 life points, so I could do this. Yeah. Okay. Now I have to wait to summon that. Yes. summon this and then how do I do this other shit do I need the actual did I should I have had like a fusion card or something I fucked this up bro I don't know how synchrons work at all also don't care but I have to play it to get the stupid bingo card thing now that I changed my uh, category, the people that hang out for you, yo, when you guys show up, uh, if you're in here already, tell me how to do it, because I don't know. And it's annoying that I don't know. Because I can't choose it that way, it doesn't do that. I can't bring this out without something else. There definitely is a... This guy needs some other effect and I don't know what it is or how to do it. Like, I'll win this, but it doesn't matter. Cause they're gonna attack that. Yeah. And then I lost, so I, I am with that. Cause it had zero and I didn't know how to use it properly. I have no idea what, what's required. There's gotta be a spell or something. There's probably a, is it fusion? It didn't say fusion. frustrating because I don't know I don't care how to get it how to no related cards maybe Junk Anchor, Junk Converter, 
Is this what I need? You can discard this card in one tuner. So I need a tuner. Is this the tuner? No, this is what you bring out, and then you need the tuner. So this is the tuner. This is a Synchron, but is he a tuner? I don't know what that is. If this card is sent to the graveyard for a Synchro Summon, select one monster your opponent controls and change its battle position. It's an effect that I don't care about. So there's Quick Draw Synchron. Discard this card in one tuner and add one synchro and monster from your deck to your hand. For a synchro summon, you can substitute this card for any one synchron tuner monster. Synchron tuner monster. So that. Once per turn, you can discard one card, then target one non junk monster graveyard special summon that target. Blah, 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 blah. You know what? I I don't need that. I'm pretty sure the default deck on the GX guy has the shit already built, right? Isn't there a deck that's built specifically for that? Because I'm pretty sure he started with it, and I don't think I fucking deleted it. I mean, it's trash, and I don't want it. This fucking guy. I deleted his deck. What about this asshole? What do you got? The synchro shit? Nope. I deleted all their damn decks. Fuck, man. There's a kit. What's this legendary structure? That's legendary warriors. What's this? Sorcerer's Alliance. That doesn't have what I need in it. What about this? Well, this is Synchron. Fusion shit. Let's just use this garbage. And the Stardust shit. That's it too, right? Yeah, it is. There it fucking is. Let's do that. Let's give it to Seto. Because I think he's built for that shit anyway, right? The peak performance? Wait, really? Oh, wrong, wrong version of him. No. Stop. It's the other one. This guy. Stardust. Copy deck. Seto 2.0 error. Got it. Skill. Ultimate dragons. That's what I fucking want. All right, uh, save. Yep, yep. Okay. In no way interested in doing this, but it's the only way I'm gonna get. How many of these gems do I have? Not enough. That means I gotta do it myself and I don't know how burn it anyway. We'll see. We'll just keep clicking until it lets me do it. Wish I could auto it and just have it do it, then I don't have to worry about it anymore.
Okay. I don't know if that's the right order. <clears throat> I don't know what to do with that. This is for Synchro Chase. Okay, it's different. I don't know. What's in my extra deck? This shit, Junk Warrior. So Junk Synchron and one more non-tutor monster. A junk Synchron. No, I got a Junk Anchor though. And a Junk Servant that I can special summon. <clears throat> now I can do something in here. Boom, this is a Synchro Summon. We're doing it. All right, I don't even know what to win now. I just, I did the thing and now I got the, the what you call it? I'll get the bingo, sure. I have no idea what the effect are. I don't even care. <clears throat> wow. It just, like, I don't even know how it works and it feels cheap. <clears throat> That's why these decks are bullshit. Clicking because it highlighted. <clears throat> it's like teaching me how to do it without even learning anything. Great. Sure. Uh, that one, I guess. Cool. Now I definitely feel like I'm cheating. I'll never be doing that again, but I got the bingo card, which is all I wanted. comes out on the September 12th. Oh, that's today, but not until like tonight. It's whatever. I got the gems. Cool. I will resurrect the Pharaoh. We need people to level 15 that are not there yet. Some of these are only at level 6 and 1 and shit. This guy, he needs some levels. My mech lord will prove how weak you are. Uh, we're just grinding a few more gems and then we are getting this deck tonight. For sure. What's that, MG 2.0? That's what I want. Copy this. Yeah, see what I changed was I added, we added the Magician Girl, I think you saw last week with the Sage's Stone, and then we added the Magician's Rod, and now we have, I think that was it. I guess the only thing I changed. I added a couple of cards, and it, and it you would think it would make it less consistent, it actually makes it more, and I might drop this guy. I don't, I never use him anymore. And I mean, he ends up being burn material, which is nice, but like, why would I want that in my deck? Where's level one at down here? Primo. What skill you got, what's this? 
Beginning of the duel, add one Mechlord Emperor Weisel to your deck. In addition, your life points are at 2,500 or lower. You can place one Spark Breaker face up on your field from outside your deck. I don't even know what the fuck this is. Cannot be special. Cannot be normal summoned. What the fuck? When a face up monster you control is destroyed by a card and sent to the graveyard, except during the damage step. You can special summon this card from your hand. Other monsters cannot control. You control cannot declare an attack. Once, yeah, I don't care about that. But once per turn, you can target one monster you control and destroy that target. That's actually not a terrible. That'd be kind of nice. Because I need to get rid of some of my own cards sometimes to make room for different plays depending on what I'm doing all right well, let's level this dude up this should be easy hit the gate like three times and get him to like level 10 without breaking a sweat well 15 ultimately but 10 is quick in 10 you get like 50 gems See how I always get him on the initial draw, which is what I don't want. Nope. Nice. Let's burn power of the guardians. Berry into chocolate. Actually, yeah, no, let's run chocolate. And we can already do this. He attacks that. Oh, it's over anyway. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah. He's going to have 200 left. Nice. Thank you. Crusader. No, let's burn that guy. I literally was just talking about how he's better to be burned anyway. Now it's, I mean, it's over anyway. He's going to get probably five levels off of that. Three and a half. What world is he in? I hate having used the keys, but I just don't have any more dual orbs. Expecting that we're gonna spend them. I am stacking the gems. We are very close Because we're gonna have to reset To get the other two cards because I need duplicates of them. So that's where it's gonna cost me unless I get really fucking lucky, but I usually don't The problem is for this to work, I have to have one in my hand. And 
this doesn't count as a dark magician in paint. I can't even get rid of it. Because that's a... It's two to get him out there. Activated trap, and this is in my hand, though. I can special summon it. Which I always sort of forget about unless it asks me. So we can buff him up. gonna flip the stupid she's annoying tay is pretty easy we'll go tay level 30 angel and friendship she's a life point buffer i think joey plays uh, time wizard which Honestly, if he flips properly, he can actually win on total bullshit, so I don't want to deal with that. Uh, we can play the rod. Uh, from my deck to my hand. Because so I can bring them both out if I pull the trap. Yeah, let's do that. Because I could do it now. But I don't want to. So when he attacks, I can just... When she attacks. I can just seal it after that. She burned me. there summon this and the other one and actually we can go dark magician girl this burn him like that okay now it's definitely over
Now that was a level 20 or a level 30. Should put him to level 10. No? Wow. Maybe you don't get more for that. It's annoying. Oh, well, he's going to mission two, though. Stage two. Wait, I was just, this is a daily thing? Because I definitely played in the cup, like, today. Is it based on the world that I'm in? No, that would be stupid. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, it should be keeping my rank. I'm, like, level 5 in there. Please don't screw me, game. Yeah, I'm level five. I don't know what's happening there. Okay, that's weird. It reset and it gave me all back, all my shit back too. Oh no, that's because I went to stage two. I don't know. Never mind. never play kiwi i use her for effect and i burn her like she's nice to have for that exact reason that's why i keep her in the deck get close to 10 it's a whole other pack just for that Basically beat him with just Art Magician Pro. Nice. Ugh. Felt the burp coming. Fuck is this guy? Handsome Stan. them because that was a two fucking great damn it man I don't want to play the gate with him so close too hate weevil bandit keep odin's done but odeon's done but trash what's yugi moto got Grandfather's deck. <clears throat> Duel. Okay. 
Mm, I can play Rod. And then, yeah. Let's do that. Yep. And then we'll put... Uh, Hmm. Let's go expanded. Then we'll go Veil to Dark Magician. Then we'll play expanded. because I'm not going to get him all the way to 15. Nothing matters. Almost one. Why is time going by so quickly, it seems like? I'm just tired, I guess. What's up, Quayam? How you doing, man? You're just in time. We are about to open packs for Vendra, as I have been grinding gems all week off stream and uh, not spending them. So I was doing some more gate duels here to get this guy to level 10 just to get some more and then we're going to open some packs for sure let's go bury the chocolate Effect and put Kiwi out there. And then we'll put got both dark magicians in my hand. Put chocolate out there. We'll burn Crusader. There's the eye, that's nice. Uh, we'll have that next turn, so we can bring these guys out. So let's do this. That. So it doesn't really matter which one. Normal summon with both of these. Play the eye. Put Calvary. Expanded. And goodbye. All right, that should put him to 10. And then we'll open the packs. Hell yeah. Wait, I thought you got gems at 10. Oh, fuck. 12. What do I have? We could do two more. Thirteen hundred right now, plus these fifty. Oh, I need to play some of the uh, the event duels too. We got four duels to do there. I'll switch back to Yami for that. Or uh, yeah, so I can actually ensure that I win. Let's do two more of these. Get him to twelve. I thought it was ten in my head, but whatever. Bullshit. Also need a P. Ooh. Weird 
straw, but okay. Can't even burn anything because I don't have anything to burn. Almost a brick. I can play that. Then we'll put navigation, I guess. Yeah. I don't have anything I can burn. What I can do is this. Of course. There's fusion. Whoa, what a shit draw. God damn it. Like, I literally don't have anything else I can burn. Killing me. I mean, it's still one. But... On absolute trash. Probably two more deals, so it would have been three to get me to 12. But this one plus one more should put me to, to 12. This will certainly put me to 11 and then probably a quarter of the way into that, and then the, the next one will go to 12. Then we do four event duels with Yugi Moto again, or uh, Yami Yugi, and then. That's not bad. Wish that worked with girl too, that would be sick. you can activate her effect on the first fucking oh that's nice so I can bring a dart magician out now well on next turn okay I'll summon the girl for Apple and then play the Sage of Stone. Well, is Sage of Stone Magician to Magician Girl or Magician Girl to Magician? I actually don't remember now. If you control a face up Magician Girl, okay, yeah, so it is, it's 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 Girl to Magician. So we'll normal summon, yep, burn Apple. Then we'll play it. Bring him out. And play Twin Burst. Wait, that's not gonna matter. I mean, I guess I can play the card. Doesn't really mean shit. Actually, is that stronger than the fucking... Doesn't matter, I'm still gonna do it. I'll get the points just for playing the cards. Uh, anything I hit him with is gonna kill him. Those extra points for playing that extra shit might have got me to 12, but I doubt it. Yeah. Next one will. 
All right, so one more of these. And then switch to Yami Yugi. And then we'll play the four daily duels. And then we'll start opening packs. is this oh that's his skill i was like why is that my fucking whatever um do we play rod or berry to chocolate let's play rod oh that's robe fuck me i thought it was rod oh no that's a problem yeah, I screwed that up. I should have played that in defense. He's going to attack it. Now it's over. Well, I can do this. That'll put tw five on it, which will kill that. And then I can switch it to defense on the next turn. I might save it. Oh, of course. Okay. There's Rod. Now we can pull navigation. Set it. Cause it's in my hand. Pretty much set no matter what happens. Oh, he didn't summon anything. have the magic that's what it was and I couldn't play this because I don't have the room on the field which is also annoying well I want anyway that should be the last one Maybe. Might put me just before 12, but I feel like it's going to get me to 12. Oh, my God. All right, well, definitely one more. Of course. Crazy how different the temperature of my PC is when I play this, because it's not very graphically demanding, right? Some CPU usage, but not bad. But I was playing Hunt earlier, and just like my whole PC was warm as shit, because it's really pushing it to encode and do all that. That game, Ooh. Crytek, and I don't know, that engine is just heavy. Good looking game though. Duel. But for what this is, it still looks good. That's Rod. I need to pay attention to that more because I screwed up last time. All right, let's go navigation. I don't have one in my hand. Hmm. There's more cards that I could be getting to to make that a better. There's a 
there's some combination there's some spells that i can chain i think to get them out faster and that's definitely what i need to start focusing on i'm gonna look at that later after we build vendreds i want to see if i can polish this deck even further the robe. And I got the 21 back. Did I lose that again? How long does that last? Activate the during each of your standby phase, it'll lose 500 when it's destroyed, destroy this card. So it's just gonna lose the 500 every time. Yeah, it's just gonna go from 16 to 21 every time. Hey, there that is, thank you. Uh, let's discard navigation, because I'm not gonna burn fusion, that would be stupid. That's three. There's Timaeus. That's convenient. Four. And Uno Mas. Does he count? Spellcaster type fusion. Is this a spellcaster? It is. So we can normal summon this asshole. Burn rod and robe. And then play fusion. And Quintet will eliminate everybody. Bye. It's always fun to get to play him. Uh, yes, it will. Oh, look at that. You're exposed. That should put me to 12. Yes. There's the 35. All right. Now let's switch back to Yami. And we're already set to MG 2.0, which is the new version of my Magician Girls deck. And we are set to go in here and fuck some people up after I pee. Uh, I'm going to run a 90 second ad stream so that uh, we can avoid pre-rolls for people when they come in. And then I'm going to go pee. We'll do four of these, get as many gems as we can. Plus you rank up, you get more gems too. And then uh, we're going to open packs.
I shouldn't have bought snacks today because now I'm fucking eating them. All right. Is that good to go, Koyam, or gotta go? Okay. Um, let's, uh, Kaiba Corp it up. deck over there. Okay. Let's play berry, chocolate. Now he knows what I'm doing though. I hate doing that. I hate not being able to hide. At least at the beginning, like the first couple of turns, not knowing what he's playing with, it's more satisfying to like be able to set stuff. Instead of just straight summon him. All right, I'm bringing her out. Nice. The one with the hearts got the other summon too. I need to get that one too. can burn. I don't have a dark magician in my hand. I can't do that. Did he brick? It looks like he bricked. I feel like he bricked. He's probably going to surrender. Nope. He's doing something. He's playing blue eyed. Is it the thing what Yeah, there he goes. Sorry, got to go with some crunchies pretzels. That's why I said I shouldn't have bought them. Because I'll sit here and eat crunchy shit the whole time and I should do it. Well, he got his chain on for Synchrons at least now. Dark Magician. I might have him here. We'll see. Um, now do I destroy him or do I just go straight to Timaeus? 4,500 is... Nice. Oh, no, I'll beat him. That's it. This is over. Yeah. No, it's over. That's it. Yeah. I don't even have to play. It's amazing. Nice. Just 
chocolate's effects saved my ass. And the fact that he killed Dark Magician Girl because she was in my graveyard so I could pull her back out. Then play Sage's Stone to bring out Dark Magician. That was solid. Nice. Ooh. I actually don't want the chicken. I'd rather have gems. I was getting gems for like the first four levels. That was when we got three more of these. To get the maximum gems for the day. And then we are opening packs. We are super deep into the box. For Curse of Dread. Which is annoying as fuck, but it is what it is. I feel like he built this character just to play, like, he separates his characters out based on what he because the fact that he put hero in the name just tells me that he's playing elemental heroes but like like why would you do that yep he is so he literally has like a separate character a separate account for each of his things because that's that's kind of the dedication you're doing when you name it like that that's his account name Also, this isn't a great draw. We'll see how this goes. Ah. Yeah, far from great. <clears throat> uh, that has to be... Yeah. from your hand. But it's a level seven, so that's not gonna help. Uh-oh, the DC over there? Tell you what, I was playing on my phone the other day and even with good signals, sometimes it just turns to trash. You gotta be like connected to hardware for this game to work right. Okay. Um, that's all I really can do. Just let him hit it. Which I'm fully assuming he will. he knows the card or he's reading the effect right now Let's see if he should yeah okay oh I have anything in the graveyard does he get to negate my draw no okay I'm gonna say that would be horseshit uh actually no, let's see. drops it to half now he can he should be able to cancel his attack, which he probably will. I know. Now he can play enemy controller in between, but he can throw it in defense. Yeah. So that he could beat it. So he did the math. Well played. Bullshit, but well played. Pretty much fucked. I literally can't make that any stronger. I got nothing. Fuck, man. Yeah, I can't do anything. I mean, I crippled him there with that, but. And that's permanent. I think. Maybe it's only permanent while she's on the field. But. Hmm. Okay. 
Okay. Well, I'm not sure why you didn't do it, but I'm going to do that. With his permission. Apparently. That's three. Now we can do this. That's four. God damn it, man. I hate that like he, I have to, I'm essentially waiting for his permission every time. Cause I know he's got something back there that could just negate what I'm doing or something but like like if you're gonna if you're gonna have an effect of a card back there that you can wait on like that's fine do what you need to do he's got he's got i don't know fucking what would it be karma cut what's that what's that one of the, the fucking tail negate some bullshit i'm sure that's what he's doing But like my point was, if you got a card that you you have the option to like you know negate my stuff or whatever, every time I change phase, it's asking you and shit. Like, can can you at least like be responsive with your shit? Like, wake up. It's literally asking you every time, and I feel like it's burning my time because when my time came back up here, it was low. Yeah, one eighteen. Like, what the fuck? It literally asks him if I want to end my turn. Like, come on, man. And he surrendered. <laughs> I broke his chain and he didn't like that. You were gonna lose anyway. Nice. 70. I knew there was more gems coming. Hell yeah, we're at 1,400. How many was that? I think I have two more, right? Damn, it's 130 already. Two more and we're opening packs. We're getting it too. There's no way we don't get it with this many gems. I mean, I built that whole Dark Magician deck with, like, 2,500 gems, maybe? I had 9,999. Because I wasn't ever using them. I sat on this game forever. Okay. That's not ideal. Oh, good. We get to ask for his permission every time. Love that. It's actually a sick combo. Okay. And then we'll just hold off on this. We'll go here. Huh? As soon as I see the white stone of the ancients, that's what he's doing. Yep. I 
Okay, so use an effect to just remove my card so that I couldn't even use it to prevent an attack so he can destroy it. That's fun. Great. All that to wait for you to have 6,000 attack. Okay, this will be the last one. And that's the four for the day. Then I get those gems, because they're win or lose. Plus I got like an extra 70 bonus for winning and ranking up. So this is it. Opening for Vendrids. Mm. What's he playing? Not familiar. Uh, let's play Rod. Play rod to stone to girl. Oh, I gotta get his permission. That's nice. Yeah, let's play rod to stone. And then I've gotta be able to get the girl on the field, which is probably not gonna happen now because he's gonna destroy it. Honestly, the ones that bother me the most are the, the ones that play that shit. Oh, and then of course I have it. Hmm. Play that shit where you're able to uh, take my stuff off the field and then attack twice with for like 3,000 each or whatever. It's like, all right, well. So you essentially have a quintet that you can play not even in your extra deck. It's kind of cheap. Like, at least for me to play quintet, get the effect and everything, I got to get five different spellcasters from the field or the graveyard. And then I got to have Magicified Fusion in my hand to play it. Good golly. He's gonna like pull two more of these. Did you get to attack twice? Oh, he's not one of those. Wow. And then I bricked. I mean, all he has to do is draw anything else. Because he destroyed the rod, it's over. Because I was near a brick, and then I finally did, and now I got nothing. Yeah, he's 
got me. Surrenders don't count, though, so I have to let him beat me. something that I can fucking summon. I guess Rod. Rod's the strongest thing I have. I mean, Robe. I don't know why I said Rod. I was saying Rod because I was thinking about it, but... Problem is I have to sacrifice and I don't have enough life points or I would have pulled. Hmm. I might be screwed either way. If he gets something else on the field, it's over. Yep, now it's over. Oh, and he's just gonna destroy my card. This is why the other guy surrendered. Oh no, never mind. That's a different card. I was thinking of something else. Yeah, now he's got me. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I just had nothing. I had nothing normal that I could summon. Literally, all my level fours are like somewhere else. All right, that was four. Sweet. Get all these gems. Whoa. Party of 12. Light path. Welcome, everybody. Uh, we're just uh, about to open some packs in Yu-Gi-Oh, actually. So we're trying to build a new deck. How are you, man? I'm doing good. How was your stream? Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, so we're at 1,500 gems. So we're tired as hell. Yeah, I'm getting there. Uh, all right, so we're opening packs. We just got to that point. So you guys showed up at a good time. Uh, Curse of Dread. Was my weekly long stream was on like 15 hours? What? I didn't know you were doing that. Yikes. Yeah, that's, I get tired after like four or five hours. Okay, so I don't want to burn this many. We're going to open one pack at a time. So basically the way this works is just a brief explanation. I am opening random like foil packs. Imagine you're opening Pokemon cards, right? And what I want is that. Revan Dead's Red Slayer. I need, there's one in that box still and I need it. And I actually need another one, but I have to reset the box after I get the one that's in there. And I need one more after that and one more of this, Revendred Origin. <clears throat> and then my deck should be ready. Lots of coffee, right? I just drank an energy drink not too long ago because I just, I've been, I had work yesterday, a 24 hour shift. So when I got, I was up this morning at like 4.30 in the morning at work. And then I left work, came home and did stuff all day. All right, so we are opening one pack at a time. There are 50 gems each and I have 1400 now. It's basically the way it works. There'll be three cards in each one. We don't know what they are, um, but it's not gonna be that one I can already tell because it's gonna do something special and you'll see Attack Pheromones and the Fabled Ganassia. So that's a, a rare, not a big deal. R is rare, SR is super rare, UR ultra rare. Okay, one pack at a time. 
So if there is something super special in there, it will do something different. You'll see when I when I get the pack, it'll do like a whole like extra animation and stuff with like stuff behind it. It'll be all shiny. That kind of gives you a hint that there might be an ultra rare in it. Venom Snake, Revendering Core, Revived King Hades. Also, I'm guaranteed there's only 10 packs left in the box, so I'm guaranteed to get it in the next 10 packs. It's just annoying that I've gotten this far in this box and I still haven't gotten that other card. All right, it's not in this one either. That sucks, man. Bone Crusher, Vendred Hound Horde, and Vendred Battle Lord. And see, I have a lot of these cards already. It tells you I've got three, I've got six of them, seven of those, 12 of these. Nine packs left. Come on, man. Give me something. Nothing. Fabled Toppy, Vendred, Anima, and the Fabled Ruby Ruta. <clears throat> garbage, garbage, and more garbage. Eight packs left. It's literally going to bring me to the last pack. Bone Crusher. Vendred Knights and whatever that, the long poisonous snakes one. Not interested. Seven packs left. Because I have to reset the box and hope for the best. I want, uh, I want to save as many gems as I can, which is why I don't want this to last that long. Venom Snake, Mech Mole Zombie, and the Fabled Ruby Ruta. Because as soon as I get it, I'm resetting the box. I don't need any of this other garbage that's in there. Just there's only three cards per pack, that's what kills. <clears throat> okay, so this is what I'm talking about. So it does that. That's doesn't always that it there's usually even a stage above that that'll do like hieroglyphs behind it and everything else, and that's that tells you ultra rare. This is like a, a rare or super rare. Rise of the Snake Deity, Venom Minion, the King of Poisonous Snakes, and the Chainsaw Insect. That wasn't even anything, it was a rare. Five packs, come on. But burn all my gems, please. Nope. Vendred Revolutions, Poisonous Snakes, and Evolution. Tons of these cards I have. Nope. Boy, it's gonna be ringing the last pack. King of Poisonous Snakes, Nightmare, and Battle Lord. Three packs left. I'm getting to the bottom of this damn box. You loved opening card packs? All right, so, uh, oh, we got, so we got an extra animation there. It's white, so it'll be blue at the back. It's always the last card, it's the best one. They do that on purpose. It's white, so it's not it. It's gonna be blue back there. Vendred Core, Rise of the Snake Deity, and Red Eyes Zombie Necro Dragon. It's a super rare, so it's this guy right here. And that's the last one of these. So the next time I get something like that, it's uh, it's gonna be it. But there's only two packs left in this shit, so it's it's either gonna give it to me in the last pack or just giving it to me right now. Wow, we're going to the last pack. Vendred Knights, Vendred Reunion, and Venom Swamp. And here we go. It has to be in this. Unless the game is broken, it has to be in here. Yeah, okay, so see the hieroglyphs behind it? Yeah, that's gotta be, it's blue. Wow, we literally got to the last pack in this fucking box. Are you kidding me? Venom Snake, Vendred Core, and there's the Slayer. Literally the last possible card in the whole damn box. I killed a box. Yeah, that's trash. You don't even have to reset the box because it does it for you. Yikes. All right, so now we're do we're burning all the gems. We're down to 937. I burned, what did I have, 14 something? Yikes. So I need another Slayer and another origin there's only one of each honestly i could do 10 packs for 500 because the odds that i'm gonna get them it's just save some time let's do the 10. fuck it 
At least we can open them faster. Alright. Archfiend Zombie Skull. Snake Deity's Command. Vendred Hound Horde. See, and then we just next pack. It's faster. But then you run the risk of spending gems you don't have to spend if you got them within the first couple of packs. But the odds are so low that it's not going to happen. Venom Boa, Snake Deity's Command, and Venom Swamp. Ooh, there's something. That was different. Did we get anything? Chimera, Reunion, Scapegoat. This is pack four. Oh, something. Here we go. What color is it? It's green. Oh, it could be Origin. Could be Origin. Better menu to the King of Poison and Six. Reunion. Snake Rain. Unforge. Pack number five. Here we go. Fable Toppy. Vendred Anima. Vendred Striges. What is this crap? We need to upgrade your browser permissions for better Twitch TV. Okay, whatever. Um, uh, Mole Zombie, Vendred Striges, and Revendred Evolution. Back number seven. Nothing. Reunion, Boa. Swamp. Pack number eight. Come on. Fable Toppy, Mech Mole Zombie, the Fable Ruby Ruta. Evolution. Doom Kaiser Dragon. I always like this. This card art is sick. And Executor. That one's good too. Actually, all of Vendred's are really sick card art. Oh. Venom Boa, Archfiend Zombie, Skull and Zombie, or Venom Swamp. Okay. Out of all of those, look at all that. Look at how many fucking repeats. Oof. Alright, so I can do eight packs for 400 and just burn them all. Doesn't change the odds. At least they say it doesn't. Ooh, okay. Chimera, what is it? It's orange back there, so it can't be. No, it's ne neither cards I need. Bone Crusher, Hound Horde. Come on, man. Give me some glowy. Vendred Knights, Vendred Reunion, Pain Painter. Bone Crusher. Snake Deity's Command, Doom Kaiser Dragon. Pack number four. Ooh, we got some glowy. It's white. Uh, it's gonna be a rare, it's not even a super rare. Revolution, 13th Grave. Oh, it is a super rare. So sometimes it's misleading. Sometimes the glowy, and then you get the the eyes with like the, the serious look. Sometimes you get the hieroglyphs and everything else, but they, they randomize it a little bit. So you never, you can't super predict it. But if you get nothing, then you know it's not gonna be one of those. It's not just gonna throw a random thing without anything extra special. Venom Shot, Venom Serpent, and Scape Ghost. On six out of eight. Although, given the fact that I went to the bottom of the box on the last one, like, oof. Because see, there's three ultra rares, 10 super rares, 90 rares, and 167 normal cards in this box. And what I need is a super rare and an ultra rare. So a 10 and a, a one of 10 and one of three. Fable Ruby Ruta and Revendead Evolution. Seven out of eight, come on, no glowy. Vendred Anima, Venom Serpent, Fabled Leviathan. Last pack. Ooh, got some glowy. It's white. 
Man. It's probably going to be this Leviathan bullshit. Venom Minion. Mech Mole Zombie. Fable Leviathan. Yep. Damn. Got two of those. 82 packs left. So I'm free to play. Because you can pay money, real money, and just buy a bunch of packs. Um, not doing that. I love this game, but uh, not enough to give them real money. Well, we're getting closer to the uh, to the deck that we need. So we have it already. It's with her. Let's see where Alexis Rhodes. Here we go. So she is the uh, she has the skill that I need this master of rights to. Um, so we need to add the new cards in. I sort by date acquired or whatever, date obtained. Yeah. Yeah, date obtained. Where's the Slayer at? He was at the bottom of the other pack, so it's down here somewhere. Alright, so now I've got two of them in there. So I need three. And then I need... Oh, I have the other one of these two. I just need... The, uh... I need a third one. Origin... Should have another one. Oh, it's monsters. That's why it's not showing up. I was like, wait, where is it? Okay. There it is. So I think you can actually add it, even though you don't have it. Yeah, deck includes cards you don't own. So that's actually sick. Because you could do it like this. Where you just add it in, and then I think when you get it, it'll automatically drop it in there? Maybe? Where to go? There it is. So yeah, I need this guy and that guy, and I think that puts me to where I need. I don't think I need anything else. I have to look at the deck list. Yeah, cannot be used in a duel because it contains cards I do not own. So the deck I currently play with. Um, on Yami Yugi here is my Magician Girl 2.0 deck um, because I just added the Magician's Rod and then I can chain that with Dark Magician Girl and then I added the Sage's Stone as well so if I get a Dark Magician Girl I can bring Dark Magician out and then I usually go Dark Magician to Eye of Timaeus Eye of Timaeus to uh Dark Calvary. But there's another card that I don't have. That I feel like I need, I was talking about adding. There's something that I was interested in adding. It's not Dark Sage. You have to have Time Wizard for that. I can't trust time with it. a coin flip. It's not worth it. Right. Too much risk. Is what you want is consistency. Don't I have Spellbinding Circle? I think that's what I don't have in there, but I was talking about. Do I not have it? Wait, let's just look for a circle. I'm pretty sure it's... There it is. 
Oh, I don't have it. No, that's Magnet Circle. What the fuck is it called? Can I do this and just do related cards? It's probably in there. That's the one I'm thinking. Dark Magical Circle. I do not have one of those. Yeah, when this card is activated, look at the top three cards of your deck. Then you can reveal one Dark Magician or one Spell and Trap card that specifically is Dark Magician among them and add it to your hand. Also place the remaining cards on top of your deck in any order. If Dark Magician is normal or special summoned to your field except during the damage step, you can target one card your opponent controls and banish it. You can only use the, each effect of the Dark Magical Circle once per turn. So it has to be in the top three for you to be able to, it's not like you pull it anywhere from the deck. Uh, this is the other Dark Magician girl that I don't have. She's the same. The stats are the same. I have one of these. I have two of those. But the, uh, the summon animation is different, which really doesn't mean much. But from a collection standpoint, I like to have it. So I eventually want that too. I thought about adding Thousand Knives, because if you control a Dark Magician, you can target one monster your opponent controls and destroy that target. That is nice. Problem is, is when I have a Dark Magician out there, I don't usually keep him out there. I usually play Eye of Timaeus or whatever. Like, he's he's not there for long. Sometimes, but it's kind of rare. Skilled Dark Magician. Each time a spell card is activated, place one spell counter on this card. You can tribute this card with three spell counters on it, and you can special summon one Dark Magician from your hand, deck, or graveyard. That's nice. You have to play a lot of spells. And it has to stay out there. I had Chaos Magician in there before. I don't need the rituals, it's annoying. What's this? Oh, the Toon Dark Magician Girl. Dark Paladin's sick, too. What's this? Dedication through Light and Darkness. Tribute one Dark Magician. Special summon one Dark Magician of Chaos. Yeah. I've had him out there before. This is what I want. I need a Dark Magical Circle. Box is that in? Future Horizon? What a weird box for that to be in. About this one. It's in the Taya Gardner DSOD starter deck. definitely want that card all right let's play a little bit of uh, the event see if we can rank up and get some more gems play against some real people I almost never see players in the US, which is interesting, because I know they play, I see them stream it, and I'm playing. Is I first? I am first, fuck. Uh, all right. Magician navigation is not gonna help. Let's go Apple. Let's just set, because I don't want him to know what I'm doing yet. Plus, it's kind of a shit draw. change my cotton out on this tomorrow. I've been dripping on this for way too long. Is he playing over there? I 
a Sage of Stone, but that doesn't help me at all. Yikes. What's he got? Nothing. Nothing I can... Yeah, I might be screwed. Kind of bricked. It's not a brick, but like... Not a great play either. Jesus. All this high level shit and nothing I can really chain to bring stuff out there. And he doesn't know what I'm doing yet and I don't want him to. I mean, you can look at my deck mat and see the Dark Magician, but I might just be a fan, right? That's my plan. I don't want people to know. Because once they know, they can start holding off like if he has like effects to negate attacks or negate um spells he'll wait they'll do that shit because they know that i'm gonna play quintet or whatever I'm still not doing very well. Because I can't even play Magician Navigation because I don't have Dark Magician in my hand. And Rod's only going to bring a spell. This is a stall, which I hate doing. Well, I'm not stalling, I'm just not doing anything. Hmm. No. There he goes. Yeah, now he knows what I have, and that's exactly why I don't do that. It's because he starts seeing the effects that I can line up, and he's like, nah, I'm gonna go ahead and wait and cancel that. So now he knows what I have. I can't do anything, he pulls it off the field, and I'm stuck. He's got me, this is over. Unless I pull something amazing, he's going to chain to 2,500 up there probably and then smack me in the face. It's just frustrating. Yeah. Why are you hit me with the eight? Okay, the robe's big. currently can't destroy it which is nice and when he does flip it unless he's got something back here like floodgate or whatever to negate it i can put a dark magician on the field and then once i have one I can might have might have a chain that i can actually do something with <clears throat> now 
now I can activate the effect unless he cancels it. I can discard something, which would be Magician Navigation, because I'm not going to use it anyway. We'll summon the Dark Magician. I drew the other one, of course. It's all right. And then I can activate this and destroy one of his traps. Uh, is equipped, gains 500 attacks. Uh, once per turn, you can select one face up monster control. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, let's do that one. Let's chain it with this so that I can strengthen. Strengthen the Dark Magician. Up to 35. And then we'll play Dark Magic Attack, which destroys everything he has back there. And then we will leave Kiwi out. We'll leave it like this. Go to battle. And we'll smack his 800. Putting him down to 12. And let's see what he pulls. I was just talking earlier about how I don't leave Dark Magician on the field very long, but like in this situation, this is one of the few situations where it actually happens because I don't have another fucking choice. I don't have Timaeus on me. I don't have anything that I can use. I hate that shit. Where I take all his stuff out and then he's able to basically just replace all of it. And then he's got a 26 so he can destroy my Dark Magician, which he's gonna do. My only luck is that I pull Quintet, which if I have Destiny Draw, I'm gonna do it. Do I have it? I do. Quintet, or uh, excuse me, Magicified Fusion is what I want. Oh, I don't have enough. How close am I? I think I need one more. Like a normal summon Kiwi. If I'm doing the math right, I should be good. Nope. That's one, two, three, four. Fuck. I'm screwed. I can't play it yet. He's got to destroy it. Damn it. I should have looked before I did it. Nice. Let it be my turn. Now we got him. All right, that's five. Wait, no, it's four because, okay, yeah. No, I, now I am screwed. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't have anything level four that I can summon, and I am screwed. That's GG's. Fuck, man. I guess my better option would have been to leave Robe on the field, but he was going to destroy it anyway. Although, when Robe's in the graveyard, you can use it. I misplayed that. On me. Let's do it again. I just want a couple more packs. What time? 2.15? Yikes.
Gonna end stream soon ish. This isn't bad. So I can run Veil to Dart Magician already. Full deck and he's playing with this version of Kaiba. I have to guess that he's playing Blue Eyes, but I don't know. We'll find out. See what I draw. All right, well, we'll take that special effect and put this guy on the field. I don't usually do because I never get it honestly. And we'll burn this. Take the hit. He can cancel the effect so that I lose the life points and then I don't get to play the card. But he didn't do it. Dark Magician is on the field. He's got, but we'll find out in a second. Probably got Karma Cutter some bullshit back here. Yep, sure does. Nice. Yeah. Discard one and then just banish all the cards with the same name as that monster from your opponent's graveyard, which is nice that I attack with this one first because it doesn't, I don't lose all the Dark Magician stuff because if he did that, he cripples my deck. Wait, what? Oh, they have to be in the graveyard anyway. Okay. Oh, whatever. And I don't get to attack any further because he canceled that attack. And then he banished my Dark Magician. Problem is it doesn't count in the banished pile. What happened to my music? I think YouTube music froze. There it goes. Okay. Um, we can play berry to chocolate. Pull the special effect of that. Uh, let's chain this. And then actually, yeah, no, let's do chocolate. And we'll go here and hit him with this. So I don't know what else he has. Probably some effect on that to resummon a shit ton of monsters. Yep. Can't do that. Of course. Well, then I drew the girl. I'd rather play her and burn girl. Full magician's defense. Set that. Then attack. Then attack. Then attack. Alright. Brought him down to 2,000. I can pull Magician's Defense, which cuts all his attacks in half. There it is. At least on these two. Actually, all three. They're spellcasters. And if it's car sent from the fields of the graveyard, you can target one spellcaster-type monster in your graveyard and special summon it. 
but I gotta have the room. So he's gotta destroy one. He'll probably destroy Barry first, maybe. There he goes, nice. Okay. I don't have anything I can burn. Basically stuck. It's okay. We can destroy that. And leave him with 200 life points. Not a great play, but not bad. Yeah, he surrendered. I was going to say, depending on what... I was literally about to say, depending on what he draws, he's probably going to surrender. I see it happen all the time. They're like, oh, I bricked. I'm not going to win. Fuck it. And they just leave. I'll just take the hit, because you don't even count it as a duel in here if you, uh, if you surrender. They specifically punish you for that. But people do it anyway, because they're like, oh, I'd rather surrender than get fucking killed like it makes a damn difference so it counts as a loss you lost either way they just don't want to see it happen maybe I don't know why it bothers people I'd rather take the credit for the duel and still lose another blue eyes man fucking full deck of 30 why is everybody playing that see it too much and it's annoying chocolate he can negate this effect and he probably will yep plug gate trap hole so now I can't use it and it just sits there which is cool didn't even wait to see what else I had couldn't chain that to anything just immediately plays to keep stuff off the field or keep me from doing anything. That's why I hate playing against this deck. You see that way too often. Like, there's way more strategic ways to play that. Well, this isn't regular blue eyes, I don't think. Plus, you knew what I had. And now you've prevented me from doing the thing. Well, there's the rod. Hmm. From your deck to your hand. Yeah, that's what I figured. have one in my hand but I don't have either one so I honestly think my best shot is having navigation and just hoping for a draw it's not trash I mean he's going to destroy that but I'll take the 400 damage. All right, I'll take the 900 damage.
Of course. Now I might be screwed. <clears throat> His defense is 12, hers is 18. I guess we'll set her. It's all terrible. <clears throat> it just sucks because if I can get a dark magician in my hand, I can leave magician navigation down there and get the double summon. Or. Oh, I could survive long enough to get five of them in my graveyard. I could play fusion. And then he's done. I'm not going to survive another round. We could do that. I have stages stone. Problem is I won't be able to summon her. I have robe, but he's gonna attack me twice. So I need to do this in one play. Basically, it needs to be Dark Magician. To the hand. And then Needs to be Magicified Fusion, or excuse me, Magician Navigation. I could do this. And set that. And then get both of them on the field when he attacks. And that's that's the best I can hope for and it still might not work out my way depending on what he does if I can chain it yes nice if he doesn't negate it put him in defense as well and then put Another Dark Magician in defense? No. Let's do the robe. Cause I need the five for the effect. 17, that's 2000. Let's put him in defense as well. And then activate the rod in the graveyard. And then, let's see. If you activate a spell with this graveyard, you can tribute one spellcaster, add this card to your hand. Okay, so we'll tribute this guy. And then I can activate the effect here. Discard Sage of Stone. Special summon this one from my deck. Just chained a whole bunch of effects might actually save my ass we'll see I didn't even have to do all that but it protected me assuming he doesn't blow me out or surrender I got him with fusion on the next turn assuming he doesn't like I said explode my back line which he might do he's got to fax some shit he might do some crazy shit I don't know buffer in his life points so uh, a hit with quintet's not even gonna kill him right now um activate the effect of a card 
can banish target one face up spell and trap. It has its effects negated until the end of this turn. All right, so we can negate that. Uh, do I want to chain this? Uh, no. Now we're going to play fusion. I've got 16 seconds. I've got him. Shit, I'm running out of time. I might be safe. He might just surrender. I'm not going to have enough time. Unless it buffers my time on my turn, then I'm screwed. If I time out, that's going to be such bullshit. It's not my fault. I had to click all those. I got 21 seconds, nice. Now he's dead. Got him. Nice. They say give me more time to finish. Whew. That was a little, uh, a little close there, time-wise anyway. Hell yeah. And we ranked up. That dude's gotta be mad. That was a shitty end for him. Stop taking so much time. I don't feel like I did, but I guess I did it. Watching the summons takes away from my time, but I like watching them. Because you could just click through them. Oh, great. This guy. I already know what he's playing. This is endless trap hell, I bet. The only reason people play him is so they can play the most annoying deck in the fucking game. Second most. Okay, well, we got a Dark Magician in the hand, so we're gonna summon her. We're gonna set navigation. We're gonna set defense. We're gonna end my turn. He's playing with a Dark Magician, like, cover and everything, too. He'll be happy to see this. Uh, yeah, let's chain that. Summon it. And let's summon the other one. No, let's not. Let's summon this in defense. Of course, we'll chain that. So we flipped it back over. Like, I give a shit. Calvary. I don't really care which one. Because I get to... What? Oh, your effects. I was gonna say, because I have piercing damage on that, so it would definitely destroy you. Milky Way Alliance. How you doing, man? Welcome. We spent a lot of gems tonight trying to get the rest of the cards I needed for Vendreds, and I literally got to the bottom of the box. It was the absolute last card. I opened every single pack. 
to get down to the end. And it screwed me on that. Uh, do we do it? Let's do it. I'm doing all right. I'm 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 a little miffed that I had to, uh, like I said, get to the bottom of the box on that bullshit. But it's whatever. Uh, I'm going to negate your effect, bud. He didn't like that at all. Mama Murphy, how you doing? Well, that's five. So let's play quintet. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. And that's five different cards. And assuming he doesn't negate the effect, then this duel is over. He did not. Goodbye. 200 packs and sends you 1,000 arms, and I'm all the way down to pack 35. Yikes. Yeah, I eventually want to build a uh, mono, what, mega, megalith? Megalith that you need send you for. I don't have any. Uh, hey, level 36. I, um, yeah, I'm working on Vendreds. Uh, KC, yeah, I'm just, I'm grinding for gems, honestly, because so I, I play uh, Dart Magician and Magician Girl Modified, like I built this myself. Oh, you can't see all of it, I guess. Um, but I'm gonna buy 10 packs if I get nothing, I'm gonna make Tyler One Rage look like nothing. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I'm not spending, I'm a free to play. I will not spend real money on this. So I grind these gems out myself. Um, but yeah, I got all the way to the last pack uh, to get the last card, last pack, uh, to get the uh, Reverend Dread Slayer, the second one that I needed. So I need three to make a Vendred's deck proper. And um, I don't even know how to play that deck, but I know I'm building it. And uh, yeah, last pack. Want a duel? Uh, maybe in just a little bit. I'm trying to get a few more gems to try to open a couple more packs. If I win, you'll give me a surprise because you're bored. Uh, yeah, we could do that. Let me see. After this duel, let me beat LV Nick, whoever this is. I don't know what they're playing. Photon Lizard. Oh, boy. Wow, you still didn't get it? it? Sucks. Can you curse in here? I don't care. Anything I don't allow in here, I already have like set for auto mod to pull it. So say whatever you want. Uh, let's see. The flying fuck. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, no, my my odds have been trashed today too. Uh, let's see. How do I best play this? You think? Sage of Stone. This is a bad draw. Let's go Rod. Rod to Navigation. Even though I don't have it in my hand, I can lean into it. Because he's going to destroy that. 
kind of a trash draw. I might be screwed. 15 packs left and no Senju. Damn, come on. Before you try to fuck me. Uh, yeah, auto mod grab that for sex based terms. That's funny. I allowed it. <laughs> now you can say to fuck me in my channel. Uh, let's see. What is he doing? Oh, fuck. He might end this now. He's going balls to the wall over there. We'll see. So I'm not doing one this week, but I do a lot of King of the Hill tournaments in here. Yikes. That hurt. Do I do I activate the skill? Problem is. I don't know if it's gonna save me at this point. We can fucking try though. All right, so we'll set navigation. We'll set Apple. And then we'll see what happens. When he goes to summon something, hopefully I can flip navigation. Do something that'll let me chain back there. Nice. Good. He's gonna prevent. If he prevents, it's over. Nope, he's letting me do it. All right, Dark Magician. It's gonna be the third to last back, you can call it. Hey, I like I said, I have never seen the terrible when I was building this deck, it was actually good luck. Like I actually had it within the first it wasn't that bad at all. Um but for whatever reason, man, the the other the, this Vendred's just absolute ass luck. Uh let's tribute her. Rod back in my hand. Chain this. Discard this. Send a pick in Discord. Look at this mess. All right, hang on. Special summon the other Dark Magician. I literally played this last this combo the last game, and it actually saved my ass. I got really lucky. <laughs> I just pissed this dude off. For sure. Ooh, Crusader. Hmm. Honestly, what I need to happen not what's going to happen. Konami, please. Yeah, I'll check Discord in just a second. I'm, I'm honestly, what I'm really hoping happens is that I'm surviving long enough to pull Magicified Fusion and play Quintet and it saves my ass. Otherwise, I'm fucked. I might be screwed, but we'll see. If he has effects to pull him off the field, then it's over. Now, let me see this in Discord. What'd you put in general? Oh my god. Oof. Yeah, 15 packs. Down to nothing on that. What's he doing? Come on. Damn it. 
I might be screwed. I need fusion. And I just don't have it. for no reason, but I did it anyway. Yeah, that's... I, I was, like I said I, earlier, I was amazed with the odds that I got all the... I cranked these gems out this week, and I had like 1,800 or almost 2,000, somewhere around there, and, and uh, all of them. Now, most of them got spent after the reset, but I got all the way down. I had 10 or 12 packs left and all of them down to zero and the last card is what I got. So I didn't even have to reset the pack. It reset for me because I got the entire box before I got it. Just messed up. Not fair at all. Oh, I forgot Peepo Hey was back there. Mm -hmm. He's got three on the field now, right? Yeah, I'm screwed. Oh, yeah, he's effect damaging. Yeah, it's over. Oh, well. GG's. Yeah, there he got me. I had 13 cards left. There was, I don't know where Magicified Fusion was, but it wasn't close enough, so, oh, well. Have you seen that video of Ronald MC Donald beating up this dude? Oh, Ron, Ronald McDonald. I don't know why it's... It's because you spaced it. It threw me off. Ronald McDonald beating up like this dude. No. There's a dude dressed as Ronald McDonald beat the shit out of somebody? Uh, yeah, I can do a dual room. For a little bit. I got about 15 minutes before I gotta go to bed. Play as fuck. Put 20 on. Uh, casual, blah, blah, blah. All right, it's, um, one, one, oh, one, zero, six, four. Put it in my chat bot. A second. I'll probably end up staying in this room for a little bit. turn my pvp filter on though what does skill chips do i don't actually know it's i guess to buy skills for characters you've unlocked maybe my best guess That's my PvP filter, so you're not just looking at my hand. Anytime I'm playing people on stream, I do that. Oh, that's funny. You got the you have the deck map for the the card backings that I use, the sleeves. Although that blur is, it hurts my refresh rate on this other monitor. I need to fix that.
Sorry for what? seen a lot of blue eyes today like I'd say more than half more than half of the people that I've been seeing in this event have been playing fucking blue eyes yeah see when I crank that blur up if I do a Gaussian blur and I drop it and it's not too high it doesn't hurt the refresh rate but I switched it to a block blur um Their meta. Oh. Uh, Blue Eyes isn't tiered right now. If you do exclamation point meta in the chat, uh, how you doing, Lucky Bimo? Welcome back. Um. I had a trash draw, by the way. Um, yeah, they're not, they're not tiered meta. There you go. We don't play meta in this channel. But that's mostly that rule is for like my tournaments and everything else. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Um, yeah, mostly that rule is for my uh, my tournaments and stuff. Casual, I guess. If you didn't know, it doesn't matter. We've had people show up in the tournament and play meta that didn't know, and then they it DQ'd them or they had to play something else. They had to play again. Uh, but yeah, the, it's as long as it's not in that tiered meta. I think the, I didn't check today, but like it's like harpies, onomats, thunder dragons, some other shit. Gaia. Damn man, I fucking bricked over here. Like, pretty bad. That's why I was stalling. There's nothing I can do. Yeah, meta. Ew. <laughs> That's right. Uh, oh, GG's. You got me. I mean, I'm not even gonna show you my hand yet, just based on what I draw next. This might be the deciding factor, but I really fucking doubt that it is. Actually, I'm gonna even play Destiny Draw and see if I can save it, but I don't think that I can. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm screwed. I don't see a way I can save it. I might have been able to save it if you hadn't already attacked me, but I uh, I didn't have the life points to spend to to use the sacrifice summon, the whatever the hell that spell is. I play it all the time. I can't even remember the name of it. But um, if I had that, like if I had the life points for it, I would have done that. And then I might have been able to save it. But yeah, you got me. I'll show you my hand. It's horrible. I don't have a snowball's chance in hell. You know, you gotta do that. You could literally just attack me with the two you had and it was over.
GG though. If I didn't brick, I might have had it. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, this deck is pretty consistent. Even when things are looking pretty grim, I can pull it out usually sometimes. But I miss play here and there. You wanna go again? Let's see if I don't break. Imagine breaking, I know, right? Build a fucking house, all these bricks. Yeah, I, and I don't, it doesn't, um, like I said, it's it's somewhat consistent. Doesn't happen too often. <laughs> kind of did as well. Shit, not as bad as I did. At least you had something on the field you could attack with. Yeah, I gotta figure this blur thing out. Cause it was it was good. The blur was fine and it was very performance like it worked very well. The problem is is that in the the last stream I um it got brought up that they could still see the cards. Like the blur was there, but like it wasn't blurred enough that you could see it, and so I had to max the blur out, and when you max out a Gaussian blur um, that's real-time filtering that the video card has to do and it, it stressed it it just struggled to it was eating up too much resources I guess and it, uh, it Pissed off my computer So then I switched it to a different style. It's a block blur, which is like easier on the resources It's not as clean looking you see like these weird lines on it um, but what I think I'm gonna do is go back to the Gaussian blur and then just put the only thing that was needs to be different really is the over my hand so i just need like a Yu-Gi-Oh themed you know transparent background picture or something to throw over that so it would obscure it even more kind of like the uh, the sides there with the magician girl and and uh dark magician and uh That'll solve my problem, but I honestly, I looked for like hours and I couldn't find anything that I liked or that fit in that spot that didn't look awkward. I guess I can just get a picture of like the cards like fanned out. I see a lot of people do that. It's trying to be original. Yikes. Well, you certainly didn't fucking break this time. You got me. Ugh. fucking cards like not I'm not pulling what I need at all sucks too because it's like this is a bad example of this deck right like it's making it look like I struggle to win duels but like you guys that have been in here before, you know I don't. Like, this is a very strong... 
the only the only thing I struggle with sometimes is like hell I beat somebody playing automats the other day and he did not brick like he came in strong and then I ended up with Calvary on the field and I negated one of his I don't know he threw out karma cut or some bullshit and I negated it with uh, with the effect on Calvary and it uh, it wasn't even over yet. Like he still had a shot, and it pissed him off so much he surrendered. <laughs> like it didn't play out the way he wanted to, and he was mad as fuck about it. He got me again. No, he didn't. Maybe. Uh, do it. Yeah, I guess let's do it. Okay. The only problem with my filter is it doesn't help against this. Let's see whatever the fuck I'm picking. See, the problem is I'm in the exact same situation I was before where I don't have the life points to use what I need that would actually save me. I am a screwed. What's up, Santiago? Welcome. How's your night going? For day, Europe, I guess. It's 3 a.m. here. Hey, appreciate the follow. Welcome to the community man I'm gonna lose this again it literally like we literally ended up in the exact same situation as before where you, I wasn't the same cards I think but like you ended up dropping me to 700 life points you got me oh wait maybe I mean it's it's probably over because I couldn't even do it yeah, now, now it's over. Yeah. I, uh... Turn that off. Nothing. Literally can't play anything. Don't have enough cards for Magicified Fusion. And... Nothing else. 3.05 AM. Oh, well, shit. You're in the same time zone I am, then. We're actually getting close to the end of the stream. I should have been gone an hour ago, but... I was grinding out to try to get Vendreds built. Literally got to the last card of the last pack in the whole damn box before I got the card I needed. Yeah, GG's, man. You got me. That's just funny that we ended up in the exact same situation that we were before. I had 700 life points again, and then my destiny draw would have been... I was going to use that. So if I played Veil and I had 1,000 life points, I could have put something on the field that was actually useful, and then, yeah... Brick magicians, right? Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not been great. Uh, exclamation point room in the chat. I don't remember what the code is, but I programmed it in. Well, there you go. 
Yeah, the bot, the bot grabs it too. But we're not doing a tournament or anything. Normally, I do King of the Hill tournaments in here. Um, I either play, play with viewers bot, and I have a whole thing on the screen and all that. Some of you guys have been in here before you've seen it. Unfortunately, I'm not streaming at all next weekend because I can't. I have uh, work Saturday, 24-hour shift, so I can't stream Friday night because I got Saturday morning work, and I can't stream Saturday because I'll be at work, and then I can't stream Sunday because I had to work Monday. So next weekend is shot. However, the following weekend, um, I got like one more duel in me, and then I gotta, I gotta send y'all somewhere else and go to bed. Um, but yeah, so next weekend, no dice, but the following weekend, I will be streaming Friday night at least, and, uh, we'll probably do a King of the Hill tournament that night, because I haven't been able to do one this week or next week. <clears throat> oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, I'm adding that to my task list to fix that fucking blur performance this week. So y'all don't y'all don't notice the difference, but uh, over here it's bugging the shit out of me. This is a 165 hertz monitor, and it's G-Sync, so it drops the performance with that blur on the way it is, because I got to play with the settings, I guess. And uh, in doing that, Jesus Christ, you're not gonna believe this. Maybe I need to change this deck up. I don't know. All of a sudden, my luck turned to trash. Like, I literally haven't had a brick all night against other people or AI, and now I can't draw a card I need. You're gonna join in the tournament? Hell yeah. It's gonna be a good time. I bricked. I literally just drew another high level card. I got nothing. What is happening in this deck right now? It's not broken. It's very, very, very powerful usually. And you got me. Or you just decided not to finish me. Yep, that's GG's. Look at that. Literally cannot play. I guess I could have Destiny drawn, but it, there's n literally nothing that would have saved me because the only thing that would have been useful is um, I don't have the life points for it. Look at that. I mean, I guess I could have pulled a low level. I tried that, but look. I mean, I pulled a bunch of spells and a bunch of... Yeah. Ugly. I got so many cards I gotta discard over here. Yikes. Well, hopefully this week, um, after work every day, I won't be streaming or anything, but uh, I can get on, I have time to do what I did this week, which is uh, get on my phone and uh, grind out whatever the event is this week and you know maximize some gems so i come into this weekend with a couple thousand and then uh i can't stream this weekend either but i will uh continue continue that on i don't want to spend them because i want you guys to be able to see me open them uh, and then see if we can't 
stack up some gems for a week or so and then go in and uh, actually draw the cards we need to finish the Vendred's deck and start playing with that. Because that should be fun. I want another one. You got you got to rematch me. That was literally just the ugliest brick. I I almost need everybody to see now that this deck does not usually brick, even though it's happened like yeah, GGs. Even though it's happened like three times in a row now, it doesn't normally do that. It's not in the not in the cards today. But I will do you one more time if you're interested. We did better. Playing Ojamas, huh? Oh, uh, keep guys killing me. I've been out since four thirty this morning. So I'm approaching 24 hours. That's what's screwing me up. Deck doesn't always work. I don't know what the fuck happened, but it wasn't going well there for a little bit. But it's all right. something back there. It's all right.
What else you got back there, Hyde? I trust it. We'll find out. Okay. concerning what's going on back there. I'm still here. We're about to wrap up. I knew he had something. I knew it. We're not doing a tournament or anything, Mod. It's just uh, a couple people that wanted to duel. Ugh. Fucking like econ. Hopefully you had a good one. Yeah, it was okay. It's been alright. motherfucker you know that because you were done but it's all right it's not over yet Devastating attack just now. A lot of last chance saves on this one. But like I said, so you saw it. It bricked multiple times. I don't know what the fuck was happening. Like I literally couldn't do anything. Uh, but he ruined the momentum. I mean, he, he stopped Quintet. Sure. But it's uh, it's not over by any stretch.
It's okay. GG's. That is the example of how this deck is supposed to play, which it very much does. Even if I didn't win, like that was a good example of like proper chaining with this deck the way that it is supposed to play. Because those, what, three duels or two duels that I did, like they were just like, just horrible bricks. Like it doesn't, it doesn't actually happen that often. That was a, uh, that was a solid stop on Quintet though. I can't rematch you again, man. It's 3.30 in the morning. I gotta go to bed. Um, let me see who else is streaming. Hang on a second, guys. Let's uh, let's keep the uh, let's keep the Duel Links community going. I always like to raid into another channel that's playing this game. Because uh, it's that good. Let's see, this guy looks cool. I don't know him, but let's raid over there. All right, uh, I'm gonna send you guys over to Puzzling Valak. He looks like he's having a good time. Um, so that's gonna be it for me. It's late. Um, but I, like I said, next weekend I cannot stream because I got uh, work on Saturday, 24 hour shift. Um, but the following week, uh, we will be streaming on Friday night, and I am going to do another King of the Hill tournament. Ask any of the guys, any anybody you see in here with a VIP badge, like Mod, um, that's a winner of one of my uh, King of the Hill tournaments. That's typically what I do. Uh, when I get another Twitch payout, I'll do $20 prizes. Um, but thank you guys for being here. Appreciate the follows. Um, check out my YouTube. Uh, exclamation point socials in the chat has all my things. Um, and thank you very much and y'all have a good night. Hey, Salty Trigger, rating of the Bye. player seven.